Jesus! Johnny Cage. You scared the shit out of me, asshole. Who, who the hell are you? How the hell did you get in my apartment? I am on a mission of great importance. Oh man, not another stalky cosplayer. I am not a cosplayer. I am Lord Raiden. And I am bored. Listen, you want me to sign something? Wait in line inside that smelly convention center like everyone else, or make an appointment. It is you who have an appointment, Johnny Cage. An appointment with Mortal Kombat. <sighs> Fine, I'll bite. Mortal Kombat, huh? Is that some reality TV UFC bare knuckle boxing thing or Mortal Kombat is a tournament between the greatest fighters in the known universe. Battling for the fate of the six realms, including Earth Realm and Outworld. Outrealm. What? what? Shouldn't it be Outrealm? I, I don't. See, here's the problem with your little Mortal Kombat story. You refer to six realms, including Earth Realm, which kind of implies interdimensional travel. But then you said Outworld, which sounds like a planet, which could mean interstellar travel, and would also mean this wouldn't be Earth Realm, it'd just be Earth. Which it is. Well, that is, uh... Um, what was your name again? I am Lord... Raiden, that's right. Uh, and you are supposed to be who exactly? I am a Thunder God. The sole protector of this realm. You're a god? Yes. One of the six Elder Gods who... What's the matter? No, you just answered the question that man has pondered for years. Is there a god? Countless countries, sects, and scholars have warred over who they believed is the one true god for centuries. And you're telling me it's not Jehovah, or Yahweh, or Allah. It's you. An electrical cat burglar. I am not a cat, but can we please move on? I'm just saying. Somebody better tell the Pope, whoever he and his predecessors have been supposedly talking to over this past millennia, wasn't the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but actually a cross between Dana White and an albino Jared Leto. Johnny Cage, why you mockingly question me? The sorcerer Shao Kahn is amassing his forces to... <laughs> Sorcery? Not, now you're introducing magic into this. Radar. Raiden. Multiple dimensions, elder gods, and now magic sorcerers. This is the most convoluted pitch I've heard since I read for that part in Todd McFarlane's Spawn. He was a lot easier to recruit than you. He? Sp Spawn is real? But his origin is based on Christianity, not some elemental god motif. His and your existence literally contradict each other. You know what? Forget, Forget it. it. I'm going to see if the rock is busy. Hey, Ed. It's me, Cage. Yeah, hey, shut up for a second. I've got a great idea for a video game slash movie. This is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They talk about how funny it is that there have been two attempts at a Justice League film and zero attempts at a Man of Steel sequel. I'm your announcer Julie. And you know what the best thing was about Rush Limbaugh? Seriously do you know? Cause I can't think of shit. Here are your hosts. Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine, and Justin Polizzi. Break out the Irish Spring, kids. This is the St. Patrick's Day episode of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. For show purposes, I'm DJ Valentine. And I'm joined by a couple of guys who have kissed way more than a Barney Stone. We were just talking about that off, oh, <laughs> off the show. Two guys who only pick four-leaf clovers because they smoke it and get high as fuck. Mm. Matthew Shamrock Stewart and Justin Potagol Palizzi. How you guys doing? Oh, Shamrock. That's, that's some good Shamrock little... Shamrock milkshakes right are coming, aren't they? Oh, the sh and the McRib. I don't like Shamrock milkshakes. The I'm the only one in America that doesn't like Shamrock milkshake. Well, you know... What is, the, what is? I don't think I've ever had a Shamrock milkshake. You haven't had a Shamrock milkshake? Like a minty. No. Who are you? Minty. Not Irish, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Apparently not. Adam, I don't like them. I'm not a fan. Well, is really? it like minty? Is it like a yes. 
Yeah. Yes. yes. Very minty. Yeah. Very mint in it. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. great. What the Ugh. fuck is wrong with you people? Why the fuck do you want to drink a mint shake? <sighs> Why not? I'm from Mickey or Irish and all, both of you. It's from Mickey <laughs> I'm the most yeah. Irish person on the show. <laughs> I know. What? Yeah. What? What about you? You like mint? I don't like <laughs> mint at all. Who are you talking? About? <laughs> apparently, he doesn't like mint. it. Uh, obviously, when he I go doesn't to hotels, like. I'm like, what the fuck is this <laughs> shit? Apparently, I'm the only one. <laughs> It's I don't know. Yeah, you're, it's, you're, you're alone, baby. You're alone. Ever, maybe I've never been to like a McDonald's like during the month of March. I, I haven't really in I, your entire life. You've never maybe, been to a McDonald's in the month of March. I, I, How old are you? I, I'm old enough to I'll know. I'll be honest with you. I haven't been to a McDonald's in years. I mean, really? we're talking really? like years. 10, come on, years. Oh yeah, yeah. Ten. Fuck, I don't eat McDonald's. Yesterday. Oh, Mr. <laughs> Health over here. <laughs> but I have gotten uh, um, uh, Shamrock milkshake like five years ago. I mean, okay, so you were at eat. McDonald's and you went to McDonald's uh, and got a Shamrock milkshake. Uh, I didn't get a burger or anything. But we got, but you I went, went to McDonald's. The milkshake you you, 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 you patronized like, hey, the fucking devil. Hey, when anything makes your shit green, <laughs> it's always a good time. Oh, it makes your shit green too. Uh, it makes <laughs> your shit green. Now you can see. You can see where you know. Yeah. I, I, I guess do hey, it. Hey, get in here. Look at my shit. I guess do it the old-fashioned way. Look at the Irish right there. Yeah, it's the shit of the Irish right here. This guy's shitting like an Irishman. What, what, what's the appeal? What's Whatever. the appeal of the Shamrock milkshake? Like why it's minty. It... It's it's green. Well, it you... looks terrible to eat. I'd rather just eat like a white like colors, mint. Matthew. Mint? I mean, mint. Eat a fucking toothpaste if you want that. I don't. I'm, I'm saying you like mint juleps, shit. Matthew. You ever mint had a mint juleps? Are delicious. They are. They are. They are they're, they're plentiful up here in. Well, the, imagine it cold in the mid south. That's the fucking Shamrock milkshake. <laughs> I know. Oh, no, oh. no. 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 Let's not go there. Okay. A mint julep. It's my ice cream and your mint julep. It's quite different. Okay, Mr. Okay, Mr. Pistachio. Hey, fuck oh, off. Hey, all right. All right. I'm gonna step in now. Calm the fuck down. Fuck the pistachio milkshake. Look at he's gonna step on DJ. You motherfucker, you bitch. You. Motherfucker, you. you. Hey, hey, there's certain lines you don't cross on this show. We do not besmirch the great name of Pistachio. <laughs> you do not bring up that fucking name, Pistachio. You ever want to no. like stop me from trying to kill you? Like if you, like if I'm John Wicking you, just pull up a Pistachio milkshake, and I'm like, okay, fuck. Just get an ice cream. Cone. I know it's a little chilly out, but something it about is. a nice it's little ice cream. I haven't had an ice cream cone in about 17 years. No, you have not. No, I have not had 17 ice cream. years. I, you I haven't had, had an ice cream cone in 17 years. Well, I agree with Where's DJ. Like, I had I'm one recently. It's been forever since. Are I you had a one. waffle coner or are you more of the cake coner? Oh I like yeah, the cake cone, waffle cone drips. I don't like the dripping. Well, you get a, dripping if you get a bad one, it's going to drip through the bottom. Though that's yeah, that's the problem. The yeah, but unless you su- you can suck on it, you know, you can you suck can, the bottom. You suck on it. Just, I, it's, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not keen on the. You suck uh, on a little drip in your mouth. I like it's a, I like a neat ice cream experience. I don't want <laughs> as long as it knows your name. Hand and I, half the time I don't. <laughs> Gotta take me on a date first, cone, before I start yeah. sucking on you. What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> I, they, the cones never questioned. Let me ask you a question. It. You guys put anything on your fucking ice cream? What do you? You, you, you put no, a little? I'm I put some hard shell. You know what I like? I like hard shell. shell. You like the magic? You got magic your mind? You're yes. about that magic. You're about that magic. You want me to tell you what I'm getting on my Sunday? I'll tell you what I'm getting on my Sunday. I'm getting a little hot fudge on my Sunday. Okay. Hot fudge. I'm gonna get a little. That seems racist. Oh, of course. Come on. Yeah. Hot and then I get a little, I get a little of the uh, almond shavings. I put a little... Uh, almond shavings? That's a little, fucking little, weird. Almonds, huh? How about coconut? Get put the coconut on it. Oh, that, coconuts. If you, if you got coconut, I'll take your coconut. Oh, I got coconut, peanut butter. Man. You put peanut butter on that? Ew, what? You love peanut butter. You are a fucking peanut You're butter. You're peanut feed. butter loving uh, motherfucker. I'm motherfucker. the bad guy. I'm yeah. the bad guy. <laughs> you are. You're horrible. Oh, fuck me. I want a little vanilla ice cream with a little fucking magic shell with a little I fucking mean, peanut Jesus. butter. It's like every you time we're talking about peanut butter, this peanut butter, that. Good cat to get rid of the Good for you. I'll tell you this. Right. Good for you. you the, okay, I'll give you a break if you put the Reese's on. Even though I hate fucking Reese's. Well, of course Reese's he's going to put the Reese's. Reese's motherfucking pieces. Reese's, 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 Reese's motherfucking pieces. He's, he's, he's fucking E.T. E. over here. That's fucking, that's fucking Elliot. Oh, yeah, good for <laughs> you. Good <laughs> for <laughs> you. Fucking Tom scared it up in this motherfucker. Tom scared. Tom, was, was Tom scared? Kill me, Ripley. No, it was Peter Coyote over here. The oh, fucking Peter like Coyote. Tom Scarrett. <laughs> Tom Scarrett was an alien. So sorry. Yeah. Wrong talking, alien, sorry, asshole. Sorry, fucking Peter Coyote over in this Imagine E.T. was a fucking xenomorph. It's like Elliot I mean, come here. Uh, <laughs> Imagine your name was Peter Coyote. That's, That's the movie they should name. be making. That can't be his birth name. Peter it cannot Coyote? Be his birth name. He's not born Peter Coyote. Peter I don't Coyote. <laughs> It's possible. <laughs> Yodi. Of the Cal Yoke family. 
the yotes. <laughs> two the, yotes. The cow yote family. Two what? <laughs> two, two, two what? I ever tell you the story two, on the two, first, the first, the first time I met my uh, my girlfriend. Two, two. We went and no. got ice cream. Yeah. Did you get pistachio ice cream? I bet you got something fucking bean? weird. You got like fucking peanut butter and jelly ice cream. No, shit. no, 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 no. <laughs> I actually, I, I, uh, uh, on the East Coast, um, right. you, you, there's something called Jimmy's. Jimmy's. Jimmy's sprinkles. It's sprinkles. We we call them Jimmy's over in the East Coast. Oh, oh look at this guy. It's like Rainbow popping Chuck, soda Rainbow over here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. You know, I wasn't thinking. It was pretty late at night. I got a little nice little vanilla ice cream. I asked for some Jimmy's, right? And they were like, what? and the lady mm-hmm. said, "That's a racist term. How dare you?" Jimmy's. Yeah, I got oh, called a racist. Oh, because because they're like the chocolate sprinkles. Well, she was implying that Jimmy's. <laughs> I don't know. A, I don't know. I don't know. This is me being completely. No, I, I I looked this up and, and the, the bitch was wrong. But the thing is, <laughs> Jimmy, she was the implying. Bitch had it coming. You can't just call somebody out like that. Especially I'm with this girl. And what, did she yell at you? Did she like admonish? She came at Dude, she came at me and she's like, yeah, you can't say that. I said, what? <laughs> what? She's with some Jimmy's. She goes, that's racist. That's really racist. She goes, you're saying that is a defucker behind a term because black people. <laughs> really? I'm, I'm, I've never heard of that. I'm saying this, this must be like a Jim West Crow. <laughs> Gotta oh, get no, some Jim Crow's on my ice cream. I went back and forth with the bitch, and I told her, I said, listen, <laughs> I'm not being racist. We call them Jimmy's. <laughs> Sorry, you call them sprinkles. Oh, big fucking whip. <laughs> Here's the thing. I Googled this it. the weirdest conversation it ever. <laughs> that, uh, you were racist. No. No. <laughs> Jimmy's was a guy named Jimmy. He was on the street corner in like New York or was whatever. He, was he black? No, he wasn't. He's was white. <laughs> Not that black people can't have jobs like that, but they. they oh, wait, wait, whoa. <laughs> this is a very interesting comment. He just made up this thing and he broke it all up and he sprinkled the fucking shit on there and, and he called, called it Jimmy's. Jimmy's, right? But fuck me. It I'm sounds like a drug. Racist. It sounds like you want like. Hey man, some you want some of these Jimmies, bro? Ah, hey, Google hey, it, you fuck. Hey, I gave you the first one free, man. You want some of these Jimmies? So okay, <laughs> well, well, okay, but well, you never answered the question: Were the sprinkles rainbow or were they chocolate? Well, you can go both ways. It doesn't really well, matter. Well, no, I don't know. I mean, it's like we want to know, Mister Polisi. Answer the fucking yeah, question: the Were they right chocolate now. or were they fucking rainbow? Yeah. They're chocolate. Okay. Oh, see, you racist see, motherfucker! She, she had a she, the, the bitch had a point. <laughs> Time for a segment destined to crumble faster than a Trump casino. It's Can You Dig It? Can You Dig It? This is the segment in which... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we, just got to the, we just got to the heart of something Not really racist. Just psyche. <laughs> Not racist at all. I, Not! Uh, can You Dig It? This is the segment where I present a news story, <laughs> like Justin being racist, and then we determine... <laughs> That's <it's>... not news. <laughs> That's, that's, that's not news. Uh, if uh, they dig it or not, all right? You guys ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Let me have it, baby. Uh, g- give it to him. Right, here we go. Give it to me, Jimmy. You'll be happy. There's only one comic book story out of the whole thing. <laughs> Thank you fucking you. God. What your pitch for it? All right. I, 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 I even do it first. I didn't even hear what you said. Way, Justin way. jumped all over it. I said there's only one comic book fucking story out of all these stories. You know, I don't fucking bitch and moan about it. All right, here we go. Oh, oh okay. Way. This was like a precursor to you saying something. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, here we go. <laughs> uh jj abrams constantine reboot oh terrible can you dig it? No. okay is this is this the only comic book thing you're talking about <laughs> jj the only abrams. comic book thing we're talking oh, about okay cool jj abrams should do us all a favor and just fucking and go away and just go work at wendy's yeah yeah and you can Why tell us about his, hate J. J. his black so fucking much. box. Everybody Wendy. hates J.J. Abrams now. I, think, I think, was, think I'm the only one that doesn't hate him. I don't hate you know him. When I, you know when I started hating him? Co-opting when he other did that, people's cultures. Yeah, when he did that, he what? did that fucking <laughs> Spider-Man yes. comic with his son. That's when I started hating him. He did Spider-Man I think, comic I think I have an affinity because of Mission Impossible 3. I think it's just Dude, that was a long Oh, it's great, but you know what? That's all Tom Cruise right there, baby. Yeah, and and Philip Seymour. And Philip Seymour. And the Lake Raiders. Everybody else. the fucking scene. Michelle Monaghan. And Michelle Williams, Ooh, or Michelle Monaghan, Michelle excuse me, Carrie Russell, yeah, 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 yeah. Carrie oh, Russell, Felicity, yeah, yeah, Felicity, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, Maggie Q's up Maggie in there Q? kicking around, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Get rid of Maggie Q, man. She could have had more stuff to do in the Mission Possible. Movie. She could have did more in the she fucking like stupid Die Hard movie. movie, yeah. Oh God, remember that? Yeah. Oh, he, She's the only good part of that movie. What, he is the only good part. about Maggie Q? And he's like, I dropped the bitch on her head. I dropped your dead. What do you call dead? 
bitch. What's dead up, bitch? <laughs> your dead mail order bitch. Dead yeah, order bitch. Yeah. <laughs> a little small talk with your dead bitch. She's down the fucking elevator. Now. I dropped that car on your dead hooker dead bitch hook. from the whatever. You said something horrible to her. Got to be running out of bad guys by now, right? Honestly, you can tell me. I mean, how's that work? Got some kind of service or something? Some kind of 800 number, 1 800 henchman? Oh, you know what? I bet you're still on hold with. Can I get another dead Asian hooker bitch over here right away? And then Mr. Mr. Justify is like, I'm, I'm angry, angry now. now. First off, his name is not Mr. Justify. <laughs> I like Mr. Justify better. His name is Timothy Oliphant, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, I, 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 am, I am the leader of the Timothy Oliphant fucking fan club. Mr. Yeah, Justify. Justify. Well, no, his name. <laughs> Believe it or not, has a lot of fucking racism. I, I was about just, I want Timothy Olafon to like meet Justin. He's like Mr. Justified. Nice yeah. to meet you. My name is Justin. Justin meet Mr. Justified. <laughs> Mr. Justified, excuse me. Hey. I'm justifying your name. Timothy Olafon. <laughs> fucking I'm justifying, my, I'm justifying I mean, my love same. for you. He's great. He's a great. He's fucking he's great. great. He's fucking. He's, really he's nice. great in everything. You know who's not uh, great? JJ Abrams. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's, <laughs> you know what he's not good at? Writing. Yeah, he's I, I think terrible like, writer. His movies, great director. Though. He has a great vision. director. I don't, I don't mind any of his action scenes. I, I said I, he's I a great I, director. I, yeah. 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 I think he's a great director. He just can't write. Just like, I'm hiring Robert Orsi. Just like that other thing, woman director. All the people that he surrounds himself by is it what's is JJ Abrams, Robert Orkey. Who are the other people that kind of that Robert Orkey. had Matthew Orkey. Vaughn? Matthew Vaughn was a friend of, it's still a friend of his, I believe. Yeah, Something Matthew, happened. Yeah, Matthew Vaughn I put more in that guy Ritchie type. Orbit. No, no, not Matthew. Excuse me. The guy who's doing Batman. Uh, Bat- Matt, Matt Reeves. Sorry, Matt Reeves. Oh, you have yeah. Matt Reeves. Yeah, you have, yeah, yeah, who's yeah. the other? You have Matt Reeves. And who's the other guy who did? Uh, Drew Goddard. <sighs> Drew Goddard. That's the other. Did, I think Drew Goddard also wrote The Martian, I believe. Well, not I that. Think. He directed, I think he wrote The Martian. No, he, oh, no, he no. The author wrote The Martian. Yeah. No, no, no. The movie. Who yeah. wrote The Martian in the movie? I think I, it was I Drew Goddard. It was Drew Goddard. Did it was either yeah, him or Matt That's fucking sad. I thought The Martian author wrote it. What, I, I, let oh, me look. Oh, oh, Weir, Matt Weir, whatever his name is. Yeah, Andy I think it's Weir. Based on the, I think he wrote the script. No kidding. Andy, Andy, I thought he wrote the whole fucking movie. I think I'm ninety nine percent sure it's Drew Goddard. I'm looking. If you lose, up, what do I win? I'm looking it up. I'm stalling about, hey, for time. Look, I written by the, Drew Goddard. All right, yo. Okay. So apologize. No, that's I, what I said. To me. I that's what I said. Anything. That's what I said. Justin has that's, to justify himself. Screenplay by Drew Goddard, written by Andy Weir. Andy Weir. Andy Weir. He wrote the story. Here's the next one, all right? We're gonna get we're gonna, that's the last time we, we didn't really, we didn't even get into like that at all. No, I said this. I like Constantine. It's terrible. It's great. I don't like uh, it. I don't think it's for him. I don't see JJ Abrams and Constantine, but I think yeah. I think if he's directing, that's great. If he's producing, that's great. But yeah, he if just he's needs writing, to shut, he just needs to shut the fuck up and <laughs> no thank you. History box. No, thank you. Hey. All right, next one. Here we go. Mortal Kombat trailer. Yeah, all the way. Yeah, baby. Can you dig it? I, I can. You know, I'll tell you this. I didn't. I haven't watched it because I don't want to ruin it for myself. You kidding me? Look at oh! I'm gonna ruin a little bit for you. Don't right? do it. Something. No. I'm. A, I'm. A, well, I'm. Oh, yeah, the only thing I saw. Thing okay. I, pro- I saw the only thing I saw on the trail. I'll, I'll put this out there. It's the only thing I've seen. I saw when he mm-hmm. rips off uh, the dude's arm. So, oh, you, so you didn't see the uh, Sub Zero stuff. Well, I saw. I saw them going to, the, to a house. It looked like some house that was like all mm. frozen and shit yeah, like it's that. A and then house. he come. It's like a weird. It's like a, it's an ice taunted house. And then he rips his arm off. I guess that guy. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's icy house. It's an icy house. <laughs> and then I guess that guy's supposed to be maybe Jax, maybe in the. In yeah, the Batman on freeze. So. You know who plays Jax, by the way? I don't know. Pete, uh, was it Pete Ross from uh, I thought, uh, I thought Supergirl? Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. <laughs> No, Pete Davidson. That'd be even better. No, it's the Pete kid. Davidson plays. <laughs> plays Jackson, we're a little Supergirl. goofy. We've been talking. Is, Pete about Ross? Some weird is that who that later. was? Jimmy Olsen. Sorry, Jimmy Olsen from Supergirl. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, he's not, oh oh oh. So Jimmy Olsen's black in the in the in the TV show. The Supergirl. Oh, I, I don't know. I've, never seen, I've never seen. I've never seen. I've never seen. Yeah, well, Supergirl, Matt, yeah, I Jimmy never, Olsen was a black we'll guy. Never watch it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I should have made a different reference. I forgot. You guys not watch Supergirl. Black and Supergirl. Hey, that's great. And he gets right. my only problem with the Mortal Kombat trailer is uh, and this is not because this opening sketch of the show has uh, Johnny Cage in it. Uh, Johnny Cage in, in the movie, and Johnny Cage is like the one of my favorite Johnny fucking Cage? characters from the yeah. fucking game. Just, He's not in it, or they're just not showing. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're 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 burying the. Movie. Why would you not show Johnny Cage? Why, I don't why know, are you keeping baby. him a secret? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna pull that fucking rabbit. We know out. Johnny Cage is in Mortal Kombat. It's not like a fucking over. Here's really. what would be really cool. He is my favorite about. part. Is if you no, know, because Johnny Cage Johnny dies Hoss. at the beginning of Mortal Kombat Armageddon. So maybe this first movie I felt maybe this is, the second movie I felt maybe this is like a somewhat pseudo sequel to that. 
I don't know. I don't no. fucking know. I'm the Mortal Kombat movie doesn't work without Johnny Cage. No, it's a re- hey, it can work. Listen to me. Your Mortal Kombat movie, your games or whatever, don't work without Johnny Cage. No, no, well, no. It can no, work if it's no. all violence and that'd be yeah, fun. Yeah, it's all violent. I don't care about Who's the levity in the movie? Fucking Kano? What the fuck are we no, doing Kano's here? Kano's a bad guy. Sonya ain't telling no jokes. It was a good trailer, though. It was oh, nice and violent, and I enjoyed that. Very it looks, right. it looks very, very and We're going to yeah. be able to see it in like a month, which is very good stuff. casting of the. Uh, yeah, we're going to get it on HBO Max. Samurai. It's going to come on yeah, HBO Max. I'm very excited love, about that. I do love getting all these movies in HBO Max. I do Max. too. Raiden looked kind of wimpy, though. Raiden also looked kind of wimpy. I, I wasn't good at Why? Because he's Raiden Asian. Oh, you're no, racist. I mean, Joe Talism is a uh, Sub Zero, which is fucking awesome. He's the guy from the raid, he's Sub Zero. But the guy who plays Raiden, I like the, I, guy, I, the guy that, that plays fucking. Is that the guy? The guy who plays Shang Tsung is the dude from fucking Wolverine. The Wolverine. Uh, or, uh, from, no, 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 the guy from, from the, the Wolverine last is, uh, Scorpion. Guy, Scorpion. 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 He's Scorpion. Oh, okay. So yeah. I saw that part too, where he's like fighting people. I guess he goes to hell and he becomes Scorpion or something like that. Yeah, you yeah, know so, how it goes. Scorpion. He says, "I know how these fucking." You know these things. Again, the only thing I didn't like is like, where's the, where's Johnny Cage, man? Who cares where's a fuck about Johnny? Johnny Cage? I don't know what to look him up. I, you, Dude, you Johnny bring... Cage will beat your ass hey, and throw a fucking you know autograph picture he, on you. Here, here's the thing. You know what'd be awesome about it? If like they're bearing the lead. I like the song too. Jean Claude Van Damme comes out and plays Johnny Cage. Do you want Rob Van Dam playing Johnny Cage? No, Who I want, want, no, I want Jean Claude Van Dam playing Johnny Cage. No, why would somebody speak English, please? <laughs> That would be fucking I need, awesome. I, I need like I need somebody. Who would you want to play Johnny Cage? You need Army like a Hammer. <laughs> oh, he's he's in the right universe. He might be. He's like, I'm gonna fucking <laughs> We're about eat the you. heart. Give me like AK. No, you're gonna finish that. You're gonna finish that. Can they, can they eat that heart? You're not gonna finish that heart. Or he rips somebody's heart and he grabs. Are you drinking heart. blood over there? Hey, hey. <laughs> so, Oh, army. Baraka, can I hang with you for a little bit? <laughs> is Baraka in the trailer? I did not see him. No. How many? Okay, how many? Char- I think I saw Reptile. How many characters are in the trailer? Uh, Count Gore, them out. Gore, Gore. I saw Goro. Okay. Goro, Sub Zero, Scorpion, Jax. I think the Lizard, Kano. You the, what Reptile? You mean Melina? <laughs> the Lizard. <laughs> uh, Sonya Blade. Did I say Sonya Blade. Uh, no, you didn't say Sonya. Kano was killing some reptilian thing. I thought that was reptile. It's not. Or maybe he's one of the um, um, one of the monsters from the Outworld or something. Might be. Might be. Yeah. Shang Sun and um, the other one, Shao Kahn. The, Shao, the, the Shao Kahn's in it too. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Like, a, like a poster or well, a statue. Many, okay. How many characters do you want in the movie? You want I want Johnny one? Cage. <laughs> Raiden Kung Lao is in there too. Um, Kung Lao's in there. He's got Kung a hat Kang, on and everything. Yeah. He's got the hat on. He huh? looks fine. He looks like right out of the fucking video game. Yeah. Just so, Raiden look kind of. So small. the trailer looks cool. Oh, yeah, it looks great. Come back. Okay, it looks like it? it's gonna be dumb fun. I can't wait. I want dumb fun. I want stupid dumb fun that's just, violent. Just as lean, fuck. lean into the. Le- be more John Wick. Don't try and be super serious. Yeah. This is why I want Johnny Cage. Don't be super serious. Be. This is the part where you fall down. Okay, tell me about the song, Justin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, be, I want to know about the song. Yeah, the music sounded pretty good. Yeah, but it's not as good as. They made like a, huh? a, dar- a darker version darker of the Mortal version. Kombat theme yeah. song, which is. Yeah. Oh, is it like dubstep yeah. or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> it was like they, they spread out the beats. So it's yeah, like, dun, 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 dun. I don't like, like that. That, sounds, that doesn't sound good at all. Oh, uh, no. I, 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 nothing I, beats the original. Uh, of course. Beats. But I think here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking yeah. they're just giving us a little taste and a little one, bit of a sniff. And then I, I yeah. think, I feel like they're going to bring gonna that song. Hopefully they'll bring it. I think the music, I, I'm very interested in seeing how the music is going to play in this movie because visually it looks pretty good. It looks pretty fun. And yeah. I love the fact that it's coming out on HBO Max and I could sit Can't here wait. and watch it and that'd be yes. great. I'm, 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 I, I think this is this is probably I can't imagine what else you're gonna fucking ask us, but I think this is probably. Uh, was, how about this one? How about uh, Cruella trailer? No, okay, yeah. God. So this is my most exciting thing we were talking about, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, um, Mortal Kombat. you brought this up I think on the last podcast, and I was kind of like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, we, and, I think we were kind of poo pooing. Like, yeah, because I'm thinking yeah. Mortal Kombat. Here we go again. You know they're gonna do something. Go play the video game. They the actually like they, they put some money into the movie. Yeah, yeah they, wow. That's, Wonder I mean, Brothers put some money into this. Listen, we all have to put the thing about Mortal is you don't have to put money in it well i know but we all love the first mortal Kombat movie right yeah. it's part of our fucking childhood, childhood. Yeah. and yeah and the, the, and the games as well um yes i will always enjoy playing street fighter more than mortal Kombat, but i love mortal Kombat story-wise story-wise of course the movie yeah. and that fucking song but yeah we when made you, fun you, of it in the you, opening you, sketch you, but you, we do you, <laughs> right i know but what i'm saying is you had brought this up last time and i was like ah, oh, here we go again but dude, listen, I'm taking, a fucking, the trailer. I'm taking a fucking shit over here the other day. And then they tell you it's the fucking trailer's out. I got to watch the fucking trailer. I'm like, all right. It's something I can look forward to. I'm, I'm very excited a about this. I'm taking a, a shit. shit. My life is feeling eh. 
now it's exciting. <laughs> Here's what right, I next. want. You know what I want? Last thing. Cruella de Vil No, trailer. we don't want this anyway. So you don't want this anyway. One. What? what I wanted, Mo- I, what this? I want at the end of Mortal Kombat. You know how they did in Predators, where they take the uh, the song, the uh, the song that they play in the helicopter in Predator. They need uh, to put the Mortal Kombat song at the end of Mortal Kombat, the movie. I feel like they're going to do something like that. I yeah. do. I hope I th- they do. I don't well, know. I think if we watch that fucking gonna, movie, they, they know where their bread is. Butter. They know. They know. Oh, they they have to give. Well, I'm going to put butter all over myself. Listen, we're, we are heroin addicts, and they're going to mm-hmm. give us a little bit of heroin. You know right that. into the fucking vein. You know that. All right. Going to Emma Stone. Yeah. Let's, let's get into the old trailer. <laughs> Trash. I don't I'm not digging it. You don't like it, huh? I don't care. Who who asked for this shit? Listen, I like Emma Stone a lot. Yeah. I think her accent sounded really fucking great. Vanity project. This is the fucking vanity project. But I don't know what it is about making this. I thought I thought Guy Ritchie had something to do with this movie. Did he? But it's not. It's the guy who did I Tanya. I Oh, see, I like that movie. Fuck. This guy's selling his career. Fucking Disney baby. (laughs) Is he though? This movie will it's, make money, I guess. Who it's interesting, cares? but it's kind of weird in a way. Something about it is off. I don't like when she like lit her clothes on fire and she had clothes underneath it. Was very, it. Uh, it was very, uh, it, what's it called? Enchantment? Uh, I just the hate Angel- that. Angelina Jolie movie. There's no, okay, first, okay, first of all, in the world of 101 Dalmatians, there's not really anything magical. Somebody mentioned this on Twitter, and I kind of... <laughs> what magical I, about I, it? And I thought it. about it happening is like at the end of the trailer... If Maleficent showed up and it's oh, like I want to talk to you over. about the Kingdom Hearts initiative or some shit, and it's like all the deal. well. If you start doing that, then that might be kind of sort of that. Would, I laugh. I was like, it's stupid, but Kingdom if it Hearts. happened, I'd be like, yeah, I'd be like, I like Kingdom Hearts. It's like that's, Kingdom Hearts. that movie's fucking that, that game's dumb as fuck, but I like. If it. you make a Kingdom Hearts movie, that would make like a gazillion dollars. Oh, yeah, you know how much it would cost? A gazillion dollars. Probably, it would cost a billion dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Think of all the fucking things. Well, I don't know. We we talked about like fucking Ready Player One back in the day, and that we thought that was going to cost a gazillion dollars. And that came out not that great. Yeah, it was terrible. It was a terrible, <laughs> it was a terrible it did, movie. But it, it had a hu- a ton of fucking characters in it, though. Right, but we got like one second. Yeah, it was one yeah, second. Yeah, we're still, still trying to find them all. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, Chucky. Oh, fuck, gone. Yeah, it was like a lot of Freddy Krueger. Yeah, there was a lot of fucking characters in it. So I don't there know. Was, there was. There was. But that's this a- movie looks fucking like what was it? It's like it's like. Uh, Fucking birds of prey meets fucking dumb shit. I don't. I can't remember. Who is the woman that gets out the car? Yeah, that's the Joker not her. meets birds. Who is of that prey? lady that gets out the car? That's not her. Had somebody had mentioned the name. I was like, it's I, probably I, Anita, I the, 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 the fucking one that handles the fucking dogs. Who? That's the the. the oh, you know, and you think it ends with day? the fucking dogs? Probably. He's like, I'm gonna get those puppies. Yeah, and then how are you gonna? Oh, how, okay, she how like, are you she gonna, doesn't like dog. She gonna, likes dogs, and then she changes. Yeah, maybe a dog bites her. Maybe it's like maybe. This Do you is like think a, this is connected to the original movie? Prequel. No, live I, action. I think it's a no. I don't okay. think so. No, so I, I don't think it, it's too. It's too dark for it to be connected to. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's it's it feels off. Like are they gonna just they're doing this? Like they're just looking at all these fucking characters. Like, hey, let's do a prequel on this. Let's do a prequel on yeah, that. Pretty much. Yes. What yeah. makes <laughs> What's going speaking of which? I don't have to watch. Speaking of which. Yeah. Speaking of which, Gremlins animated prequel. <laughs> but it's a cartoon, it's right? Animated prequel. It's a cartoon animated yeah, I prequel. I don't care yes. about that. I don't I care don't, about yeah, that. I want a live action prequel. I want live action. I want, I want, I want Dante, Dante to be fucking making some live action. Yeah, man. I think he might produce Joe Dante this. Back. Oh, he can produce I think all he might produce want, it. But it's not fucking directing. Gremlins, baby. <laughs> I don't want animation. I want fucking live action. I want you guys cute. like Gremlins more than me, so oh, I, I leave it up to oh, you. I want them to go to like the island where the Mogwai is, or like Mogwai Island, or the Critters. Maybe the Mortal Critters Kombat. they can team Ooh, up. Crit- oh, Critters <laughs> versus team up with the Critters. Yeah, Critters yeah. versus Gremlins. Yeah, the Krites. The Krites. They can the go Mogwai. after the fucking GI Joes or whatever. Yeah, what was that? Soldiers. Little small soldiers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the GI Joes. The I've, entire, been, I've been drinking. Like Joe Dante. I have been drinking and eating bread. I yeah. hate to tell you, the critters would get their ass greased by the gremlins. Grease crit- wouldn't even be close. No, what? No, I know critters. The critters are pretty badass too. Critters are one trick ponies. Gremlins yeah. do everything. Oh, uh, you got a problem with that? <laughs> I don't, no, I'm, I'm just know, saying. But, if but it, it was critter, a fight, the dude, critters, in critters lose. too. They had the big fucking critter ball in critters too. I'm gonna have to put this for uh, uh, simplistic. Well, I, I, I mean, that's critter, the whole thing. So you're saying critters. so critters? Is, I was mean, just like gremlins. The animated series is a prequel, right? Yeah, right. I don't care about that. I were, yeah, no, I don't want to know the answer I why they want can't that. Do it after I don't want. I like the mystery. I like the mystery. I want to know why Krilla the Bear is so evil. So, ah, nah, nah. I don't give a shit. She's just a bitch, and that's fine. She I don't want any fucking, fucking prequel. I'm sick of these fucking prequels. I don't care. Tired of it. 
don't don't give me how about how about how about how do you feel her. about um play it on, uh, play reboots it. then? How do you feel about Edgar Wright directing the Running Man reboot? What? Can you dig that? That's a thing. That's a, That's thing? a thing. Running Man. That's a Run- thing. No. I mean, I Why is Running, running Man? Right. DJ. I love yes. Running Man. Put your fucking cards down, all right? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm telling you the facts, bro. Put your fucking you cards down, bro. Listen, listen, listen. Put listen, your listen. fucking foot in your mouth. Listen. You're the average Joe, right? You're the average Joe. Yeah, man. Let me ask okay. you, why did you like Running Man? I liked it because Arnold Schwarzenegger was in it. And it was Is Arnold fun. Schwarzenegger going to be in this movie? I don't know. Is it going to be from be the in- 80s? No. Because we already got it. I told you Arnold Schwarzenegger was in it. He's playing the Jesse the Body Ventura role. Are you in now? No. Because who's the fucking lead? Yeah, who's gonna? Yeah, who's playing? I think Edgar Wright could do something good with it. Edgar Wright's actually a good writer and a good director. No, he I don't think, is. I think I'm not is, saying I think this is, is out of his wheelhouse, though. But he's so what? good. No, yeah. no, he's so good. He's creative. He could create his own fucking shit. Yeah, man. do it. Do something else. I think Running Man. I don't has, need this don't fucking Running Man running shit. Man. I love the Running he has, Man. He's done, running that's Man holds a special place in my heart. Maybe he wants to do something like a property. He's never done a property. <laughs> well, he was he was this close to doing Ant Man, and then he was like, "Yeah, so this well, he, fucking Tulsa. he used to do his own shit. He's been doing his own shit for like forever. Why don't you do a property? Do, branch out. Now you're at the, the point now you, you don't do anything other than your own shit. <laughs> yeah, because we all know property. how fucking Total Recall went. Yeah. Well, well first well, off, was, who directed Total Recall? I don't, I don't who wrote who Total was. Recall? No, no. There's no way they're as good as fucking well, Edgar plus, Wright. Plus, plus no Total way. Recall had nothing to do with the old Total Recall. They, they didn't even go to Mars and talk in the reboot of Total Recall. <laughs> they, they didn't even like show the three tits. They just implied it. No. Oh, fucking stupid. <laughs> Wasn't Brian hey, Cranston man. in that movie? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Yeah, Brian Cranston yeah, he was Cohagen. Oh, Cohagen. Yeah, Brian Cranston was Cohagen. Uh, like. <laughs> I don't know who I don't know who Michael Ironside character was or anything like. That. Oh, it was, it was fucking Kate, Kate, uh, his wife. Uh, uh, oh, Kate, wife, Kate uh, Boswell. Beckinsale. 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 Okay, oh, Beckinsale was was yeah. Richter. Or that was, or she they was... combined Richter with Sharon Stone. Oh character. God, they made it in one. Why, we, why the fuck are we talking about Total Recall? Total Recall. Hey, I, I, I would <laughs> watch. I, I would watch Edgar Wright Running Man because. I'm that. Much I would a, not. I'm, I'm at. I'm that much of a running man. You would watch it. Edgar nope. never failed you. No, no, you're running man. Come on. <laughs> but you like Running Man, though, right? I love. Running I love man. Running Man. I That's love the whole Running point. Man. Yes, I'll go watch the Running Man. I, I, the cheesy. I, I, watch, I watch the Running Man probably once a year at least. At oh, least. At least. The very least. What if Edgar Wright makes a good version of it? He probably loves it is too. He, is a good version it? of Running Man? Is he going to make no, like, it a, like a like a like a whatever? He's like a, a like movie. a like maybe an actual good. fucking like great a, movie. Like an as good. Yeah, maybe like he does a, it. Why would good? he do that? Again, he's never failed. That's he's running been rolling. Man. He's yeah. been, every movie he's done, I have loved. <laughs> so I don't know. No. Why, why do you think they would let? Him, okay. Do you think they would let him do whatever he wants and, or cut his balls? Yes. Off? It's we like have to, right. make, or we have to make this PG thirteen. You can. Well, what studio was Running Man from? Isn't that Carlico? It's probably like a Carlico fringe, or probably, fucking. I think. Yeah, Carlico. Probably fucking Maybe Disney Fox that owns it now. Oh, I don't know if Disney owns. Oh, if it's Fox, Disney doesn't own it. Running Man. Who did? <laughs> I feel I like well, know. Carlico Forget was about that also. Whole Fox that was also uh, uh, Total Recall was also Carlico. If it's Warner Brothers, then I'm out. <laughs> if it's Warner Brothers, then I renege everything I did. What if it yeah. was like New Line? It's Warner Brothers. I'm out. That's, yeah. that's a pass. Well, We're all hard pass. We're done. <laughs> they don't know the. They don't know how to take right. a fucking shit correctly anymore. Speaking I mean, of prequels, hey, they're giving us I, I don't even know if it's a prequel or a sequel. Max, though. I'm not sure if it's a prequel or a sequel, but here's another one: uh, Wednesday Adams series by Tim Burton. Oh, this, Can you dig that? This is like this is like no, Paramount. This is, this is Paramount's even, doing it. Paramount's doing what? Running Man? The fucking remake of Running Man. Okay. Well, <laughs> I told you I didn't lie to you. <laughs> I told you the truth. Paramount. It just came out yesterday. Yeah. Jesus Christ. This guy's on it. This guy. <laughs> you is, are on it, brother. I give you. I. I, I I do my work for the show. We will. Okay? We will say you do do we don't. good work. <laughs> yeah, you're doing good work. We're not. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, fucking Simon? Simon's producing it. Oh, Simon, Simon Pegg. Kinberg. Simon, you don't like Simon Pegg now? No, Kinberg. Oh, Simon Kinberg. Oh, is... oh, oh, fuck! I renege. I, I pass. Is, isn't, pass. He, isn't he? Uh, fuck, Wednesday no, Adams series. Simon Kinberg. Isn't he also like in the J.J. Abrams circle too? Yeah, the circle jerk. No, he's the, in the, yeah, the circle jerk. JJ Brian, he's in the Brian Singer circle. By oh the way. well, speaking of circle jerks, 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday Adams series by Tim Burton. This oh my god, I hate this. Fucking what do you call it? I'll tell you what. If it if it doesn't come out on Wednesdays, fuck them. <laughs> I think it's a cartoon. That's a missed opportunity. I think it's a cartoon. And first off, what Justin just said it's needs being, to happen. It needs to happen. It cannot yeah. come out on Tuesdays. They're not going to fucking do that. It's going to come out every fucking Friday. I believe it's live every action. episode at once. Is it live action? I think that's what, what the I heard. Fuck is playing Wednesday Adams. Just make. Well, they haven't movie. said it yet, but it was this whole big fucking thing. Oh, Tim like Burton's finally doing a fucking live action uh, Netflix. That's well, everyone look out. Tim Burton's coming. Tim Burton's coming. Look out. Tim Burton's, Tim Burton's coming. coming. Yeah. Tim Burton's coming. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, Tim you, know, you know, when I would do the Tim Burton, I grab him by the face and say, "Shut up, you're going." It's to the do second it. coming of fucking Christ over here. Christ Come Burton. the fuck down, what's the Netflix. Good, what's the last good Tim Burton movie? Exactly my point. Big fish. I don't give a shit. Yeah, them. probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a what shit. Was the big eyes. The, yeah, the one with the with the Crystal oh, Walsh. Is it called Big Eyes? Is it called Big Eyes? I saw it. It's just like uh, it, was it wasn't fine. bad. It was, it was like fine. it just seemed very like me. It was a true story. It was very meh. True story. Very meh. I think but Big was, Fish was, was probably trying, his best yeah. last. He was movie, trying to like re- redo his Ed Wood thing, which I would almost say Ed Wood is probably the best movie he's ever made. Oh yes, I would. Uh, like well, it's between the, one of the Batmans. Or okay, that. okay, taking out the well, Batman, well, you know, taking out Batman and Batman. Or I would no, 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 no. I wouldn't taking out Beetlejuice, taking out Edward uh, Scissorhands. Beetlejuice, better than be, better than Edward Scissorhands. All right, between be- Beetlejuice and Edward. Beetlejuice is tough. That's a tough one, baby. Yeah. I I prefer Edward Scissorhands to Beetlejuice. Really? That's just me. Because I think it's a better movie. Beetlejuice is great because of Michael Keaton, but the movie's just like meh. But to me, but to me all right. I, I don't I don't find like Edward Scissorhands like ed- entertaining. I think it's a better story. I don't care. I want, but What's the story of Edwards? The, the main characters of Beetlejuice suck. Yeah. Guys, I think I think, <laughs> no, I, think we should, okay. I think we should stop while we're ahead. This is this is a road. This is going to go down a slippery slope. This, I'm just telling this you. This could get ugly. The stars of the movie isn't Beetlejuice. Is the stars ugly. of the movie are Alec Maitland. Ball with Gina Davis, and they suck. <laughs> they're, they're horrible. No, they're okay. They're not bad. People. Don't they're you make they're not the, they're, they're, they're the star. I know you think it's Beetlejuice. I know his name is on the poster, Beetle but guys. they're not the stars of the movie. <laughs> Beetle guys. Beetle guys. Beetle guys. Beetle guys. I don't mind God Beetlejuice. I'm just saying, in terms of up. a script, the script kind of this kind of falls apart near the end. Right, I don't I know, like I, I'm just entertained by Beetlejuice. Okay, okay. okay. Edward Scissorhands I, is entertaining. Okay. Anyway, okay, 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 okay. okay. All right, so I'm, Great I got character. I got, Michael Keaton kills it. He's amazing. I got it's the like, press he's the release. He's the only person. Press release right here mm. from yeah. Netflix. The fuckers at yes. Netflix. Yeah, the f- Wednesday <laughs> Adams takes center stage in new Netflix live action series. Oh. Oh. Live Who are you going to get to play fucking Wednesday Adams? Millie Bobby Christina Brown. Ricci. No, she cannot. Do, you know, are you, you out know. of your mind? <laughs> no. I don't know. Oh, she she no. has a next. I don't know. Who, who's going to play her? You think Millie know. Bobby Brown can do better I, than Christina I, I, Ricci? Of course not. But, but who's going to play Wednesday Adams? Who do you Christina know? Ricci? I don't know. That's Make why I would Christina do a cartoon. Ricci. <laughs> I would not. Well, well, here's the thing. Wednesdays is, it, is older now. Okay. Make it about but, her. But here's the thing. Is it uh, Wednesday is an older older person now like morticia adams age or is she like sure. a young kid if it's if it's christina ricci and it's old wednesday adams i'm fine with that older wednesday adams. yeah i'd be christina fine with that old, but i'm just saying like a, a grown-up wednesday adams. i'd be fine with that too but, but who, i don't think who, it's gonna go that way it's gonna be some christina fucking christina stupid thing that no one... she, she kind of ruined that character for anyone else hey, <laughs> that's why they make it a cartoon <laughs> no. she robert downey jr in wednesday adams i can't see anybody else doing a better job than her ever if that person exists, I don't know who it is. I don't know so who it is either. It's going to be somebody huh? new. It's be somebody who's going to be and whoever they is new is going to be probably doing her, doing a ver- well, yeah, <laughs> exactly. of her. When everybody's always played Wednesday Adams, Christina Ricci. It doesn't matter if it's like the cartoon or yep. the, the other the other Adams Family movie that they did before mm, earlier. Yep. It was like, oh, it's Wednesday mm. Adams, it's Christina Ricci. Again. I don't fucking know. Mm. Who asked mm. for this shit? We didn't. Uh, speaking of people who didn't ask for shit, Ryan Johnson trilogy supposedly still in development. <laughs> Lucas Ryan Johnson trilogy? Oh, they're gonna do Star I thought Wars. They, I thought sorry, were, sorry. I thought Star they were Wars trilogy. Up on trilogies. Uh, apparently, somebody came out with a report saying I thought Ryan Catherine Johnson's, Kennedy was like, "Look, guys, we know we fucked you in the ass, uh, it's, and it's we're gonna a stop the by bleeding somebody right saying now. that it's still up. It, it, it's still in development." Wow. wow, which to I me I wait. think is, they're calling bullshit. I'm calling bullshit. I can only imagine what else they have going on. I, I will say, I think they're trying to, to deflect on the end. Gina Carano snafu they ran into. <laughs> they think they got all their issues to deal with. Yeah. That's more important. Yeah. But I would say um, I don't like it. I think I think whatever plans they had during this whole three JJ Abrams film thing again was like I think they need guys. to go back to the drawing board. 
I think they re I think they reshuffled the deck and said, "Fuck the movies." We're I gonna, think you just you saw that thing. Drawing we're going board. TV no more all drawing day. board. You go TV. Yeah, exactly. Totally TV. Give it to the TV people that actually know what they're doing. The movie slate and that Wonder Woman movie kind of made me go, "Oh no!" With the fucking Rogue Squadron movie. Well, I, <laughs> think, we were, I, think, no, I think we were all like, "Oh no!" No, I liked. I had. I liked before I saw Wonder Woman eighty four. I was all in on the Patty. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Um, we all. I think when we saw Wonder Woman eighty four, we were all like, "Oh no, <laughs> oh no!" After yeah, the you know what's funny? I don't know Can I say this. something? Mm. So did Disney. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well. Ooh, what? What? Disney went. Oh no. What? You think they so? Saw you, think, <laughs> you think? You think? Well, they, you know, they 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 might have seen that movie before uh, they, uh, they gave her the they, job. They, they put the ink on the paper. I don't know. I don't think so. I think they might have. <laughs> I think this is a Batman v Superman situation. Because remember, okay. that she movie told a really good like, standing story. ovations. Hey. This is the greatest movie we've ever hey. seen. She and told a really out. compelling oh, story. Don't worry, the letter do the letter do uh, uh, Wonder Woman eighty four again for, <laughs> for one of others. She 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 slipped and fell. And she'll yeah. do it again. You just call it it from now on. You, you just call it Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four. Nineteen eighty four and a half. Yeah, there you go. The smell of three quarters. Uh, all right, here's a good one. Here's a good one. It's all original oh, content. This I bet. Give us a good one. I bet. Give, give us a good one since Mortal Kombat. This one gets. You want to hear? You want to hear things that I, I talk? I, if you follow me on Twitter, me, you would have known this. This got me really erect. Okay, here we go. Cheer it. Tom Hardy. Oh. Yeah. Gareth Evans crime oh. movie on Netflix. Oh. Crime? Oh. Crime movie? Oh. If you don't know who Gareth Live Evans action? is, fuck <laughs> you. Some Gareth animated Evans. shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, Gareth Evans is the guy behind the raid. The Raid 2 and Gangs of London, and, the guy who probably should have done Iron Fist. Uh, Ico Weiss has a career because of Gareth Evans yeah. and Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, so yeah, I don't know about you guys, but well, I think the it's, so it's just like the attempt two of them doing a crime movie together. It's, a, it's like it's I, I, see, it's funny because he just did uh, Gareth Evans just did Gangs of London, which is like a, a crime godfathery series, but with super fucking great action scenes. Yeah, so I guess they're doing he's doing an Americanized version of it. Because that was on BBC. So it's called Gangs of You. I don't know if it's the same show, but it's it's, it's a crime drama. So Gangs of Chicago. Gangs of whatever. Gangs it's a, of but Tom it's a movie, Hardy. not a TV show. But there's one thing you can say about Gareth Evans. Ain't nobody. Maybe the Wick people can shoot action as well as him. I feel like, on the, the, I feel like the Wick people so, have yeah. everything to thank for him. True. Uh, the they came do out. different stuff. Uh, because the raid came out before close. the the raid came the out raid came out before Wick and all the other stuff. That was like the start yeah. of like the new. Wick. They're, they're, they're I, I I don't see them as competing. I just see them as they do a little bit different. They clap back at him. He was because like, well, he had the that. benefit of having what, the. No, because with, with the the Wick guys, they didn't have the one of the greatest martial artists on the planet right now in their movies. Well, he had five of them. I don't <laughs> understand why he hasn't I got more. Story tells him. I mean, he. he yeah, be, I don't understand why. Yeah, I don't understand that either. He really has done. He great did that movie shit. on Netflix with uh, uh, what's his name from the guest? And um, oh, I love that. Movie. Sheen, was it the Ritual uh, or something like that? I love that movie's awesome. I, that, movie's that movie's underrated. Weird People don't fuck, like that. But that was like the only. What's it called? Yeah, that was Ghost like the horror movie. With, uh, Martin Sheen. It's it kind of like a, a thriller. It's like it a, Michael. It reminds Sheen me of Wicker yeah, Man, like yeah, a Wicker yeah. Manny movie, uh, the but it's ritual. uber violent. No, Start with an A. It's called it's Apostle. 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 Yeah, yeah. Apostle. That movie yeah, yeah, yeah. was that movie was like Resident Evil meets Wicker Man meets like fucking. The, the guy Wicker. knows what he's doing, you know. Yes, that's who you get the jobs to, not some JJ fucking Abrams. Yeah, fuck JJ. But you want to? I want to see Tom Hardy in a fucking movie. I want to see Tom Hardy do whatever he wants to fucking do. And you know what? Hey, I'll put this out here. As much as people like the shit on that Capone movie, Tom Hardy was pretty fucking good in that movie. Well, Tom Hardy shit on that Capone movie. I literally. (laughs) I thought he was really good. He was really good in that movie. Everybody else does shit in that movie. And it was I wish like the Josh, movie. I wish his performance was in a better movie. Yeah, <laughs> because the script like, he was just like, uh, uh, yeah, he knew what he was getting into. That's a, the whole movie is that. And then he shits. And look, Linda Cardellini cleaning up shits. human shit for two yeah, hours. No, oh, fucking Linda. awesome. Oh, That's the Capone movie in a nutshell. But no, like Tom Hardy. People like them. One of the greatest actors working now. Gareth Evans is fucking the phenomenal action director. I don't know about. You know who's not good? Josh Trank. Wasn't Josh Trank? Didn't Josh Trank? He did Josh Capone. Trank? Oh, he did do. Oh, yeah. fuck, he did do Capone. Mm-hmm. Fuck, I forgot about that. Remember <laughs> when Josh? Remember when Josh said like, you know, whole the whole um, Fantastic Four movie, like his version will never get seen, and this and that. Yeah, you know and it's why. like then he got to do a fucking movie, and it sucked. And it's yeah. like sucked. Just, he I had one he movie. Has one, Speaking he has of one your ass, movie. dude. 
I would say half One the movie, movie. Half of that movie is okay. The other half is like, man, whatever. It's fine. Chronicle, you're talking about? It's fine. I, I the like the idea, I think, is better than the great idea. Honestly, it was honestly, like, oh, than the cool. execution. Yeah. But yeah, he, he has I mean, not done it. Okay, he's got 0. 0.5 on my scale. How's yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic All right, last one. Point Here we five. go. This you might not like this. This is back to remake territory. Uh, no, uh, but I kind of I kind of dig this one. This is a a Mister and Mrs. Smith series with Donald Glover and Phoebe Waller Bridger. Can you dig that? I don't like Phoebe Waller Bridger though. So you don't like Phoebe? Waller-Bridger? Yeah, she's so like ugh. You didn't like Fleabag? I don't like Fleabag. That's why. I guess I find yeah. that show. I find that show completely unappealing. I will say this. I agree. Justin doesn't like her because she's writing. Bond I will agree right with now. anything that Matt Bond. is saying. I guess <laughs> I agree with Matt. I don't know. It's like I, I don't. I don't. I don't like her character in Fleabag. And I know people like go fucking because you're not supposed to. She's the, a horrible character. Know, She's a horrible person. I, I, what, why am I supposed to? Why am I supposed to like the show if I don't like the character? Wait a minute. You know you sound like Matthew. You sound Ooh. like a young DJ Valentine saying, "Why am I watching Boardwalk Empire when I don't like anybody?" He's like, just like but me. Here's the difference between you. <laughs> here, the difference between you and I. I you. St- I stopped watching it. You kept watching it. Make it, make it about a a, a, <laughs> a, a a lesbian couple or a gay couple instead. Yeah, that'd be I'd cool. Kick that around. Yeah, I would like that idea. I'd kick that around. Like, like, like a like a, a gay you couple would, that's uh, just call it Mrs. like the odd Mrs. couple. Smith. Like one's dirty. You want you, want you want Carol, but with guns? Is that what I you want, want? I want to take a blender. <laughs> yeah, I want yeah. the odd couple. You can put Mr. and Mrs. Smith in there. I want something that's a little goofy. And funny. <laughs> I do like Donald Glover. In little it. known but, fact: but Donald, Donald Glover, Glover and Phoebe Waller Bridger are are good friends in real life, and they fucked in a movie before. They fucked in a movie. What movie they fuck in? Solo a Star Wars story. Oh, oh yeah, that he was he fucking was the, the robot. Yes, that he was really. fucking. He was fucking the robot. Yeah. See, I yeah, ra- I rather have I like Keith Stanfield. That. And you like, rather have what? Like Keith Stanfield in it. Well, I don't know. How, I how, about, hey, how about you put Donald Glover and Zazie, uh, Zazie Beats in it? I'll take both of them in it. I almost thought well, you said Zaza Gabor. Yeah, <laughs> that's the, that's the show. I I'm dead, on. honey. I'm dead, darling. <laughs> <laughs> What's this happen every time? Come on. Shopping? <laughs> Every fucking time I go Donald shopping. Glover and Zaza. That'd be great. Donald Glover and Zaza Zaza Gabor. <laughs> did, you say, did you say Danny Glover? And Zaza Gabor? Yeah, Danny Glover. Zaza hey, Gabor. hey, Zaza. Zaza. It's like, what do you want, darling? I'm a fucking spy. Zaza. 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 Fucking Zaza. Fuckers get younger every year. Every day. Every year. I want, I, I want Danny Glover and every Zaza, Zaza Gabor. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? This has been Can You Dig It, a segment that mercifully only lasted as long as Kim and Kanye. Let's do a little TV roundup. And we'll get to this rumor. Let's call it rumors. Rumors. <laughs> rumors. 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 Uh, Justin, uh, what have you been watching on TV? And the rumor I have was for WandaVision, which I'm not going to talk about today, but one of you guys are going to talk about it, and I'll bring it up. I'm, we're not. We're going to purposely go out of our way to not talk about it. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't I caught up yet, actually. Not. Um, oh, maybe, <gasps> to, maybe tonight I'll watch. I haven't the, been watching. Oh, week wow. Week. I, well, then I definitely don't want to talk about one of it because it's spoilery. As yeah, fuck. yeah. Well, no, we're we're definitely going to do a, a little. By the time we'll the show a, we'll airs, airs we're on. probably yes. going to be. By the time the show airs, we will be talking about one division in some respect. Everyone. Yeah, okay? yes, right. yes. If you want to hear our opinion about it, it's still good. <laughs> Sum up one division. Still good. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's still that's still one of the best shows on television right now. Um, I, I love Cat Dennings. I don't I love Catherine. Why? I, I love don't. Love Annoying. I Annoying. There's something about her. I'm good. She can know. leave. No, she's no stay. Please stay. I'll be like, baby, go come stay. I don't know. It's just annoying. I, can, I, I her can watch her is annoying. And Jimmy Choo. If you and, want, uh, you want that X Files show. But, yeah, well, we, yeah, all man, do. That. we all want Exiles back. And the girl who's playing, um, this is not spoiler or anything, <laughs> the girl who's playing uh, Monica Rambeau, yeah. she has won over the, other than Catherine Hahn, she is legit in the MCU now, like beloved. She she's I reaching I don't know why, OG though. status. Why? 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 Because she's why? good. I think everybody's good. Everybody's good. good. Everybody's good. But I mean, I don't want to put her on the pedestal. I don't want to put the pussy on the pedestal yet. I'm putting her on a pedestal. Hmm. She's nailed every scene she's in. Her origin story is as fleshed out and good as any well, other it's, Avenger. It's, it's fleshed that I've out seen. without being fleshed out. I'll give you credit. She an that. Avenger? 
Maybe in the in the comic books, yeah. In the comic book, yeah. What is she yeah, in the comic no books? Yeah. She's. Uh, I don't want um, to tell you. Oh, he, Captain. She's Captain. Come on, give Uncle Justin a little taste. Yeah, come on, give Uncle Jay your. She was. She was. She was one of. She's had many names. One of them is Captain Marvel. Yeah, one good. One of them is Photon. One of them is Spectre. Well, they do call her Spectrum. Captain. Spectrum. You know, captain. I, I, I thought. Yeah, she is a captain. She's yeah. <laughs> But she she's, should lead a, she's she's legit a team. In the comic book, so yeah, I could totally. But no, see that, that. I, I, I like it, that. It just, I like it's that. just, ha- I just, I was just happy that the actress is good. Like it's not like, you know, DJ, this is I can Marvel. see a future with this character. They actually care about their shit. No, no, no. I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. you, you unlike know, you some like other uh, franchises, you, <laughs> you mean they're actually flushing <laughs> right. a character but no, out I'm and saying, building it to something? I don't know. That's a new one. Because I, but no, no. My my point is this. My point is this. I know you're missing. I don't know who this woman is coming into WandaVision. And yeah. now you like I know who this woman is. Yeah. And I like her and I want to see her in other shit. She can have her own movie. I would pay to watch it. Yeah. For her to go from I don't know who the fuck this woman is, not the character, but the actress. I'm saying this, DJ. To, I got a I got a blank oh, check with ow. her name on it. <laughs> really? <laughs> I would watch it because I know she's in the who new Captain Marvel Luke? movie with <laughs> yeah. uh Brie Larson. I want her to do the I'm remake like, of Blank I'd, check. I'd rather see her than Brie Larson ever again. I agree no, with that. I think statement. she's going to make the. I think she's going to make. Now that I know she's a good actress and the character is really good, she's going to make that movie better. She's oh. going to make me want to watch Captain Marvel too because she's in it. Yeah, I like <laughs> so her. I like I'm her saying. leadership skills more so than the other one. But we all know that when she was cast in Captain Marvel too, and I'm like, and she was cast in Monica Rambeau, and I'm like, okay, well, what? And then I watch her in the show. I'm like, oh, she, I, she's the shit. Kevin Feige has. Done it again because most of the characters you see people cast is like, oh, that's Jeremy Renner. I know him. Oh, that's Margot Robbie. Hey, I, I don't know who the fuck. I don't you know, know who the, the fuck this girl was. is. What well, you no, know? No. I, I Good know for him. her. Good for her. She stood out. <laughs> she, she she took the job and she did a great job with it. Here's the I, only thing. I got to give her only... credit. She's done a fantastic job. My one you know? bugaboo about that is that they they announced her as Monica Rambeau early in Captain Marvel, where they should have never said who she was going to be. So when you saw her in Long Division, you were like. Oh, who's this chick? I don't know who she is, and she says who she is, right? And then right. you have to. So it that's, been, that's, that's very hard to get around. Fucking Marvel shit with. all the time, where it's like, well, this is the character. It's like, oh, well, this character. Is, I know what's going to happen eventually for it. It's like we have too much fucking information. That's what, this is why I don't fucking watch movie trailers. And does she not like uh, Captain Marvel? They keep well, no, hinting at that, that yeah, she, yeah, because yeah. of some other. Maybe like she blames I, her for I, her I, mom or whatever. I, I, she might be. She might yeah. blame her for it. Has it has to do something with her mother? Well, that's it good. Has, I like that. Well, well, how far, well, they how, haven't said yet. I'm not spoiling anything. Well, how they far might say into it the show are you? The how show far airs, into but... one division are you? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm all caught up. I'm this an was episode. Well, no, Justin. This I'm was an episode, episode seven. Behind. So I'm you're not... episode six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've kind you kind of already have an. Idea. I do, but I just I just I met in general in the in the characters. Yeah, she's like fuck Captain Marvel. So it's pretty. You've seen the episode. Pretty accurate. You've seen the episode, Justin, where they. Mm-hmm. Darcy says it has rewritten your cells twice already. Right. Yeah. Right. And then she has the X-ray in like the third episode, yeah, and it's yeah, like all yeah. white. That's yeah. hinting to her yeah. origin. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They're, they're doing. No, they're I like doing her. The baby I, steps. I just want to. I just was wondering. You know, this is a unique show, and how accurate is it to the comic book? Uh, the characters in the comic. It's book? different. It's way different. Way different. Yeah. Because my Marvel that, knowledge that, is, is is quite not there with any of. of well, you should have. Well, you shouldn't point, have. Yeah. You, know, you shouldn't have know, to re- read a hundred. We F- knew that she was going to be a certain character. That's great. But the route that she took to get the route that she took good storytelling to get there is completely different. Yeah. And that's what they've been doing the whole time. That's and good. What's funny about it now? They they can literally do whatever they want because they have every single license for every single thing. So they could literally they go comic by comic by comic. But I'm glad that's they're not and because Namor and I don't have to read every <laughs> fucking. Com- I don't have to read X Men twenty. The great thing about or to understand it exactly, and that's and that's the thing about Marvel is the great thing about them is they actually took like a good weekend to sit down and be like, what are we going to do for the next ten years? And they came up with the game plan, you know. <laughs> You look at the other properties. It's funny because they, they just... probably came up with this game plan five years ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. They, they're ahead <laughs> they of the game, They didn't come up dude. with it in the, on the day. <laughs> they that's what you do with, with anything. Time. If you're going to build a fucking house, you got to plan that shit out, right? you got to look for the lot of land and build it and find the contractors. And it's a process. You're going to build fucking cake. you got to get the ingredients. you got to know how the cake. recipe goes. You have to build it. And I'm sorry, but when you look at like DC, who's like, yeah, we're just going to do it and figure it out as we go along. It's like, well, that's not going to really work for you, man. <laughs> and so I appreciate that because as a viewer, to me, I'm getting something that people are putting heart and soul and quality into that I'm getting back in, in value for my time and my money. 
And, right. you know, I could shamelessly plug that we will be watching the Snyder Cut, uh, yeah, unfortunately. Well. <laughs> but, ding, 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 ding. you know, the thing is, I enjoy every week looking forward to my Fridays, which is a yeah. weird thing because I don't. Other than oh, it's going to get the weekend. I never look look at it. you. Don't look forward to your weekends anymore. It's like this is horrible. No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> in, in, in the sense I of entertainment, in the sense of entertainment, you know, there's not really much on television to watch. I don't watch uh, big, you know, um, network television anymore. I, you know, HBO, Showtime. It's what I'm more into. You know, but the ones that are taken Netflix and all that jazz but you know the thing about me is i was never i always said i'm not a big star wars guy i was never grew up with star wars i had star wars toys and i enjoyed the movies to the, to the certain extent unlike you know like matt for example who was really into star wars i was more into batman and, and james bond and, and turtles and stuff and that was me that was my life but i i appreciate it when i sit down and, and turn on that uh, disney plus and i watch some uh, star wars project or a marvel project i'm I have to give them credit, dude. I'm like enjoying the shit out of this stuff. And it's funny because I go to work and my boss even watches Marvel vision and I can talk to her about it. And it's like, yeah. what a world to live in because like, to me, you know, growing up as a DC guy, like I enjoyed these properties, comic book properties, but you know, I never really thought I could talk to like a fucking grown up about this shit. It was always kind of <laughs> like, like, why am I I'm fucking so ashamed? <laughs> I'm not ashamed, but they just want to watch it. It's, it's different than want to watch it. This is ago. like a fucking water talk, you know? What, uh, your water cooler. Water, this is water your water cooler, cooler talk. talk. Well, back Marvel in the day, is. The Star time. Wars is now. Everyone knows about it. You can talk to anybody about it. It's fucking in our DNA at this point. 20 years ago, do you think you would ever see a, a, a TV show with a Scarlet Witch? I, in, dude, in, I would I would say done in the way it is. five years ago, I wouldn't even thought that. I, I told you guys a story a long time ago. I was talking to my stepfather when we were leaving the theater in 2008 after watching Iron Man. And my stepfather asked, Oh, yeah, I remember. This. That, yeah. He goes, you, you, you think they ever do Thanos? I'm like, There's no fucking way they ever do Thanos. Mm-hmm. I was laughing in his face. And then, <laughs> <laughs> stupid. <laughs> and then fucking watch Endgame. And it's like, Jesus Christ. This yeah. guy was right. And it's that's a fucking... great, that's a great memory. And that's, <laughs> yeah. and that's, and that's a, that's a fantastic thing that they gave you. It's funny because I have the opposite of that, right? Like I always thought, like my whole, my whole Batman versus Superman, for me, if you remember, I was like, I never thought I would see them on the fucking screen so together. The screen together, right? The problem yeah. with that is, I got to wasn't see very it. Good. It yeah. wasn't you really good. It. You got it. We you, gave it to you. It's never really you thought, wanted, though. Because yeah. I never would have, that wasn't in my vocabulary, that Batman and Superman together on the screen would be a bad thing. I thought, <laughs> that's got to be a fucking And Wonder great Woman, thing. oh my God. And Wonder Woman, always yeah. Oh, fuck, Wonder Woman is the best fucking movie that DC's going to put out? <laughs> what? And, Are you kidding One me? day you see Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, but, Aquaman, The Flash, yes, all on the screen. Yes. It's like, this still sucks. And that's, that's the incredible thing is if you just take the two... When you when you know what you're doing and you're planning it out, I mean, God forbid you spend fucking millions of dollars to make this shit. They fucking take that and they invest it and they make it fucking work to the point where it becomes a common as brushing your fucking teeth. No one knows what the fuck happened in Justice League, and now people are going to be even more confused when they go to see Justice League. Oh, there's there's multiple versions. Yeah, and which so, version should I watch? They couldn't get it right the fucking first time. And guess what? They're not going to get it right the second time because it all comes down to the story and building and this and that. And, oh, and come on, and man. Maybe they'll get it right this time. And I, I don't consider myself a Marvel fanboy if that's still a fucking thing. No, it's, but, no, it's a fucking thing. But as, a, as somebody who wants to be a filmmaker and loves the entertainment industry... I got to give them credit. You did a fucking great, phenomenal <laughs> job. You got me hooked. I'm fucking addicted. Yeah, this guy, and this guy hates everything. I do. <laughs> and the only reason why I didn't watch it last night is because I wanted to go somewhere else. <laughs> That's code for he wanted to get his score of all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did you manage to watch anything on TV before you got your score of all? I watched the Night Stalker. I watched the Night Stalker. It's a great documentary, and yes, I am actually writing a review on it. So there you go. Right, can I, All right, I, Matt. I, I gotta watch this because I never even heard of this murderer. And I now, never heard of this murderer. Uh, this murderer is like world renowned. <laughs> I know the big game, the big names. I know B. Like, 
BTK. Oh, you didn't even name? know who the BTK and, uh, killer Dahmer was. Dahmer and the uh, Bundy. And I guarantee you, what? watch this, DJ. You will get up and lock your no fucking name. door. Oh, you're gonna, yeah, dude. I was. Oh no, I, I, dude, I, I could not I watch that it. shit I with Nicole watch. in the room because I was like, <laughs> I mean, he's dead, but he's dead now. <laughs> well, so his right, spirit so. might come. Yeah, the spirit of the Night Stalker. The spirit of the Night Stalker. That should be a movie. Spirit of the Night Spirit of the Night Stalker. Is that Ghost Dad? Isn't that oh, yeah. Ghost Dad? <laughs> well, I know. Go talk about a movie that has changed over time of its meaning. I know it didn't age well. <laughs> Not, it aged differently. <laughs> Look at me, it's, I'm in my dog. <laughs> Butter. <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> so, Matt, what have you been watching on TV? I've been watching a uh, search party. Oh, that's still a thing, huh? What it is. I watched all forty episodes party? in about two weeks. Search party. Seasons. You don't remember search, search party? party? Search party was. Did you? Okay, I was no. thinking about this when I was watching it. Did you ever bring that up? When we, when we did we ever talk about search party? Anything yes, else? we did. Matt, I think so I feel like we talk. talked about remember. it for a second. You did, or did I? Don't I, think I, Matt. I don't. I don't think DJ did. I know. I never saw. No, it. I don't remember this conversation. It's the uh, the show with. Um, t- it, it, okay, it's like take take. Broad City and Twin Peaks and mash into one show, and that's pretty much what you got with Search what? Party. <laughs> what a weird company. Yeah, Broad no. City. Yeah, what, Twin what, Peaks. What, what's her name, right? From uh, Aaliyah, uh, Shock, Shock, yeah, Aaliyah Shawcott yeah. is in it. And um, it's got like a lot of people from Broad City in the show, also like little cameo and shit like that. It's got Susan Sarandon in it. She's in it for really? a couple episodes. Hey, no. I'm not uh, a fan of Susan Sarandon, but all right. Why not? What's wrong with Susan Sarandon? What's, what's the problem? Her politics and mind do, do not mesh. Why, what's really? her, I thought she was I, like super, super Democrat. She was so super Democrat. She voted for Trump because oh. she was against Hillary Clinton. Well, maybe. Because she's a fucking idiot. So I'm not a fan of <laughs> Susan Sarandon. <laughs> I'm not a fan. She fucked, uh, she, she, she past fucked the t- uh, Tim, Tim Robbins. Yeah, Tim Robbins. She, she, she's fucking she Tim crawled Robbins. through a river of shit that came out dumb on the other side. <laughs> you got to give anyone credit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Party's, I'm looking at uh, Party. It looks like Nancy Drew when I'm looking at her. It's hair. okay. It could be a little bit like N- Nancy Drew, like fucking Hardy Boys, but then it's got this like Twin Peaks weird element to it a little bit, and then it has like the weird people you hate and like Broad City type element to it as well too. Like very like. Yeah, I'll give this. A, I'll give this a watch. I never even. It's heard a, it, so It's it four seasons, it ten episodes like a each. DJ thing would like. It's it's yeah, it's like good. It. It's got good music in it. It's got a what Purity yeah. Ring does the theme song for it. Yeah. I, yeah. Like, I like myself a little, dark well, like a little dark comedy. Purity Ring's good. A little dark comedy. I love me some Purity Ring. Oh, um, very good. The show is the show is good. I, I oh, the show is old too. I didn't know it was this old. Two thousand sixteen. Yeah. Twenty. So, yeah. Wow. Twenty right. twenty something years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a fifty year old show. I don't fucking believe. Show is old. Nineteen eighty two. Yeah. It's older than Nancy Drew. It's fucking Donna Reed. What the fuck is this? Pre- Nancy Nancy Drew. Search party. It was like it was on CBS. It was like CBS from eight to nine. You had Matlock and Search Party. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's Andy, Andy, True story. The Andy Griffith show. And, and, followed and by Search Party. Um, and then it was Search Party. Then Murder She Wrote. Actually, yeah, yeah. It was Simon and Simon. Then Search Party. Yeah, Simon, is that it? Followed up by the Equalizer. That's right. I remember that. Scarecrow and Mrs. King came on. See, right I used after. to watch it on Nick and Night when it was right between uh, Happy Days. Happy Days and I and Love the Lucy. Monsters. Uh, yeah. I love Oh, see, see I watched it. Or I watched Bewitched. it when it was my favorite Martian. It was my that favorite my Martian? favorite Martian. Oh, uh, I thought that was you know, racist. But, you know what I fucking hated about <laughs> Nick and Night? It would always interrupt Snick. That's, <laughs> I guess that's true. Remember you Snick? loved Snick, dude. You were a Snick fan, weren't Snick, you? Snick was you good. It had Roundhouse. It had oh, fucking. Yeah. What else? Did, what else did Snick have? Like Pete and Pete. It had the Adventures <laughs> Pete of Pete. And Pete, Pete, Pete that's Pete. right. One of my. I remember favorite. this is a very good. vivid like fucking childhood memory of my of mine. Where at a certain point, Nickelodeon would be playing, and then it would you would get like a glimpse of Snick. It was like, oh, Snick's on on, on like Friday, at like at eight o'clock, and then at like eight on one, it would it would cut, and it would be like, I love Lucy. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I wonder why they would do that. What what what, what do you think happened there? Is they, well, the thing they with, produced the, the thing show? with Snick is that you actually had to have a separate cable uh, option that would allow you to continue to watch Snick all the way through. Really? And if you and if you did not have, they that, just overlapped. It would, it. it would go from Nick Nick Nickelodeon to Nick at Night. Wow! Yeah, some fucking before, trivia before the internet, folks. Before the fucking internet, <laughs> yes, it was. It, it, this was hard on me. That was yeah, that's, really uh, 
So anyway, yeah, search party. We haven't even talked about that. So fuck it. Who cares? I want to watch it. I'm gonna watch, watch it. Up. It's fucking. I'm gonna watch Night hey, Stalker and Search Party. That's they're half hour episodes. You you will blaze through Search Party. They're half hour episodes at a time. Ten episodes a season. It's but uh, the one thing is it's got um, a, this other chick in it who's like the weird amalgamation of like Reese Witherspoon and um, Kate Hudson, but like streakier. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Very high pitch <laughs> voice. Must be fucking like a, like a knife. Okay. Oh, sorry. One more thing I brought up. Uh, I watched the miniseries uh, A Teacher because we were talking about uh, Kate Mara before the show went on. So. Uh, I, I can't watch the show because one, I find that shit creepy. Two, I don't like Kate Mara. It is really fucking creepy. <laughs> it's also like... It's creepy as fuck. So it's I'm like, good. holy shit. Man, it's what like, show? Uh, a teacher who's on FX. Teacher. She's fucking her student. Kate oh. Mara. Yeah, basically, Kate Mara's fucking her student. Oh, I live through that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get ready to ruminate to the writings of our resident robot wordsmith. It's Julie's Diary. Dear Diary, so, Disney finally cut ties with Gina Carano. Subsequently eliminating the Cara Dune character in the upcoming Star Wars Disney Plus Expanded Universe. And I gotta say, I'm happy about it. Not because she supports the already disproven theory about voter fraud in the 2020 election. Not because she is one of the many idiots populating the United States that think it's a bad idea to wear masks during a pandemic which has a higher body count than blowing up an actual Death Star. Not because her insensitive thoughts on transgender people are akin to my insensitive thoughts on people who put ketchup on their eggs. Not because she broke the unwritten rule that all celebrities must adhere to so as not to self-destruct their own career in seconds which is never talk about Hitler or Nazis unless you're on a History Channel documentary. Not because the first thing she did after she got shit canned, was promise to make a movie with Ben Shapiro. Which sounds more like a threat than an announcement. No, I am happy Gina Carano got fired because, Gina Carano, is a terrible, terrible actress. I mean, this is the same Gina Carano that was so horrible in Haywire, they dubbed her voice, and she was the fucking star of the film. This is the same Gina Carano that got out acted by Michelle Rodriguez and Ludacris in one of those Fast and Furious films. This is the same Gina Carano who couldn't act her way into the paper bag, let alone out of it. Her politics and her ignorance are relevant to me when one takes in account, she's as wooden as a tree on the moon of Endor. This has been Julie's Diary. The Simplistic Reviews podcast will be back after this. A tree. That's it. Groot. She can't even compare to the acting ability of Groot. He's a CGI fucking tree that just says his own name, voiced by Vin Diesel. Lawrence Olivia compared to Carano. Hey Jay, can I ask you a question? Sure, Mark. Far away. How come Carter's always sliding around in Deep Blue Sea? Wow. And how come Preacher has a bird in the kitchen? I think... Should Janice have won an Oscar for all that exposition? Yeah, I mean... Who do the sharks hate the most? Uh, if... How far did Jim travel underwater? About... Why do um... they keep calling Brenda Tower? Mark, please, we've already covered all of these topics and, and many, many more on Deep Blue Sea, the podcast. You mean the podcast where we analyze Rennie Harlan's 1999 masterpiece, Deep Blue Sea, chapter by chapter? Exactly! Find it everywhere podcasts can be found. Greetings, New Hunter 69. It is I, Skeletor, rightful ruler of Eternia, sending you this message on Cameo. Cameo, really? I'm an evil sorcerer warlord who destroys my enemies on a whim, and you have me doing Cameo? Who do you think I am, Matt LeBlanc? Uh, they paid us a thousand crowns, Skeletor. I don't care if... Wait, a thousand crowns? <clears throat> Noob Hunter 69, Skeletor here. I am sending you this message on Cameo. I am to berate you as punishment for losing in your big dick ballers fantasy football league. Well, that's crass. Even for me. And what on Eternia is a noob? Is that a fruit or some sort of refreshment? <laughs> The irony of you not knowing what a noob is is funny, Skeletor. Silence, beast man, before I ironically turn you into a fur coat! Sorry, Skeletor. Now, Noob Hunter 69, I do not know what manner of nonsense football is, but I do know about fantasy. 
I myself have an ongoing fantasy of laying waste to the pitiful citizens of Eternia and crushing that infernal He-Man beneath my feet! <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. I surmise from your numerical designation, you too have similar fantasies about hunting your noobs at least 69 times a day. But that's not what 69 means, Skeletor. What are you blabbering on about, Beastman? Well, 69, it means... It means to... Hmm. New Hunter? Gotta go. You suck. Oh, evil land! Hmm. Well, that's gonna be interesting without having a face. I heard that! If this game was a spy, it would be quickly disavowed. It's... Get your hand out of my pocket! Get your hand out of my pocket. This is the game in which I mention a bunch of items a movie character could theoretically have in their pocket. And these two try to buzz in and guess. First person to three these wins. These two? Are Who are you talking three, about these two? These two. The, the first person to three right uh, guesses wins. Because of St. Patrick's Day, Justin's buzzer will be the sound of the leprechaun from the Rick and Morty episode being disemboweled by children trying to get at his breakfast cereal. Oh, I love me strawberry sniggles. Ooh, I hope nobody ever gets my hands on me and tries to steal my strawberry sniggles. And Matthew's buzzer will be the sound of random black people in Alabama saying they found a leprechaun in a tree. To me, it looked like a leprechaun to me. Please buzz in as many times as possible because both of those sound clips are fucking hilarious. Random black people <laughs> say they found a leprechaun? You've never heard it. You never seen that news story, Matthew, when the, the black people in Alabama found a leprechaun in the tree. Oh, I thought maybe I thought that was fake, though. No, it was real. <laughs> it was a real news story. God damn it! Just what I thought. Is I it the one on the hope. pipe? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got that clip too. Uh, yeah. So every time yeah, you I, like it, I'm, I want to. It's so many good lines. I think I'm just gonna take oh, so different. You, so you're taking you're taking it. segments of the news story. I'm so, taking segments of the uh, the, the well, Rick and Morty episode. Well, I'm gonna be Justin. bringing in a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking something was in the Rick because the Rick and Morty shit that makes me piss myself laughing every time. Like I was editing it to get the buzzers for Justin, and I could, it took me fucking like an hour because I kept playing it. And for somebody who doesn't like Rick and Morty, at least that's kind of funny. All right, here we go. Remember buzzing with the first one. Rubble. Rubble. Mm. Who else in the level car say yeah? Yeah! yeah? Fuck. Yes. Uh, Barty Rubble. <laughs> Barty Rubble. <laughs> I guess one of the. I guess well, I just want to hear my uh, my buzzer go. Off. Why would I say his last name? <laughs> I don't I just know. Hear your buzzer. Betty Rubble. <laughs> Betty Rubble. No, Rubble's the first one. Right. Remember, theoretically, things that would be this in there. Okay, I, I thought maybe Barty Rubble would have Rubble. He might. He might have some Rubble. He might. I mean, he might have. He works out of fucking. He, but he doesn't really have pants. He has like a. He has like a dress. Yeah, so he doesn't have pockets. They were dresses in the front. Didn't have pants back in the fucking Stone Age. No, right? no. Uh, rubble and atomic energy. Atomic energy. Rubble and atomic energy. Rubble and atomic energy. I'm out. I'm out. So I can't buzz in again. I already guessed wrong. You can buzz in as many times as you want, Matthew. Oh, so I, I didn't think that was a game. Yeah, no, that's the problem with the game. Now it is. Oh, <laughs> we changed the rules. You can literally just buzz in all the time. Well, well punishment. Time. What's uh, the <laughs> there is no punishment for wrong answers. Rubble, atomic energy, Japanese people. Uh, get away from me! Get away from me! This is such a strawberry snibbles! No! Is Godzilla? Correct. There you go. Yeah, that's okay. what I was going for. You know, I was thinking that when you when you said atomic energy, and, and I was yeah. like, well, no. But but Godzilla, this where is he? Where is he going to have pockets? Oh. Yeah, he's got a lot of fleshy. Well, he got oh, he's got, like, oh, he's got like oh, got like oh, he's got like nature's pockets. Got nature's scales. pockets. You know what I'm saying. Uh, and my like next a, my like next a, clue like was a, a lot of fish. It was just probably what a lot, a lot of fish. Oh, well, that's, that's a lot of fish. Well, that's, <laughs> no, that's 1999 Godzilla. That's the shitty. Yeah, Godzilla. that's true. They killed that one. They went. Yeah, they got rid of that. <laughs> yes, they movie. did. Man, remember the trailer for that movie when it came out? Like, oh, I love shit, that trailer. Really good. Yeah, yeah, the movie was, was not good. It was I, not. It's funny you said. I remember when DJ was very excited for Independence Day. Oh, remember that? Oh, shut up! Stop bringing that up, fucking Pelosi. The trailer is good. The trailer is good. You were the one. I, I just saw Jeff Goldblum. I, I really didn't watch the trailer. I just saw Jeff Goldblum and was fucking like, mesmerized. You just like, saw oh, a man God. come oh. up in a white you just saw a man hey, come in your face. Would you like some candy? Yes, I love candy. <laughs> would you like some candy? Come in, get my dad, man. 
Where's Pep Pep? Get in my I got molested son. by Independence Day Resurgence. Yeah, you, got, you weren't the you only got one. by Steve Mahanahan. I know. Just me. It wasn't me. It wasn't just me. Uh, next one. one. This is a hard one. This is a hard Ooh, one. Okay? I love it. Let's pay attention. Cocaine. Oh, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Scarface. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> that was a good guess, though. <laughs> good guess, though. <laughs> There's you. only a couple people that has. That was this not is a bad tough, guess. How many tough, people have cocaine one. in their pocket? There's a lot of people that have cocaine, but it, it, not Scarface would be number one on the list. It'd probably. be in his nose. Okay. Next one. Cocaine disguises. Oh. Cocaine disguises. Oh. Cocaine and disguises. Cocaine and disguises. I was gonna say George and Bell for a person. Um, you can buzz in his face. You can buzz buzz in as you want. There, there's obviously disguises. no disguises. There's no stakes to this game anymore. Remember when no. we used to play for no, no, no. Yeah, I remember that. Remember nah, that, when we used to play for something? Yeah, it got bad. It got bad. <laughs> we actually had to actually be tortured. Yeah. We started um, start to... ourselves. God, we me. were in the basement with the BTK killer. <laughs> Bound tortured kid. Cocaine in disguises. Okay, cocaine in disguises. Sounds like cocaine a, disguises. Sounds like a key party I went to. Yeah. <laughs> Surprises. <laughs> All sizes. Uh, <laughs> cocaine disguises in a pipe. Pipe. A pipe. Disguises. In like okay, pipe. like a metal pipe or like a smoking pipe. Corn. A smoking pipe. A smoking pipe. Yes, not a crack pipe. A smoking pipe. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he's got class. He's got class. He's got class. He's got class. He's class. He's class. Very cocaine. Classy cocaine. Cocaine disguises in a disguise. A non crack pipe. This is gonna kill me. A non crack pipe. That's not what they call regular pipes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a non crack pipe? <laughs> you were the wrong place, motherfucker. Pipe? Get the fuck out of here. We only serve the five, motherfucker. We only serve the 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 finest crack here. <laughs> Our crack pipes Our are the crack finest pipes are the nicest you've ever seen, motherfucker. Co uh, cocaine <laughs> disguises a pipe in a magnifying uh, a magnifying glass. Could be a crackhead that got hold to the wrong stuff, and it told him to get up in a tree and play a leprechaun. Yes, it can be Sherlock Holmes. Correct. Okay. <laughs> I don't know he did cocaine. Oh yeah, seven percent solution. He takes cocaine oh, all the time. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know that was code. He had to go. He had to go talk to Sigmund Freud to break him of his fucking habit. Oh shit! That's from a movie so, called so, The Seven Percent Solution. Jesus, is this from the movie? That. Is this from the yeah. fucking like? The you books? kids can't say you don't learn. It's from every from incarnation podcast. of Sherlock Holmes. The Benedict Cumberbatch one. We didn't go. Eli, Benedict the, the Cumberbatch fucking, uh, didn't talk John to John Lee Miller uh, one. He didn't talk to fucking Sigmund Freud. No, no, the Sigmund Freud one was a movie called The Seven Percent Solution, where Robert Duvall plays Watson. But oh, all God. the Sherlock Holmes, every incarnation was a drug. You fucking love Sherlock every last Holmes. One. You fucking love I Sherlock Holmes. Told you Holmes. I did. <laughs> yeah, man, I love that guy. That, why do you think? Why do you think Robert Downey Jr. was perfect casting? <laughs> was perfect. He wasn't doing coke at the time, though. He was. He, he was clearly high <laughs> for that movie. <laughs> I, I thought no. I thought he gave up. Not the person, the character. He was perfect as because he knows how to play somebody fucked high? up. He knows how to do the. He knows how to do that. I think he was channeling his alcohol. Was in a, he was in a crack den in one of the episodes, one of the the, the Sherlock episodes. That's right. High as fuck. I remember that great, Ooh, amazing show. Yeah, Cumberbatch. Yeah, his, his Sherlock was addicted to drugs. Too. Every Sherlock Holmes is addicted to cocaine. Incredible Everyone. show. Incredible oh. show. Well, I thought I thought Cumberbatch was like he was an like Asperger's though, right? No, he 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 his his genius is kind of portrayed like an Aspergery thing, but there's an episode where he's doing drugs, bro. <laughs> it, it happened. I, mean, I remember I, that. I, I remember that. I was there with him. Yeah. They modernized it, but yeah, he it, seven percent of solution is uh, what they based it off of. Yes. Anyway, uh -huh. so uh, Matthew and Justin are tied. That's correct. Yeah, I we're we're it. tied. We're BTK. Yeah, BTK. We're, okay, here we go. We're, we're, we're <laughs> Oh boy! Oh, fuck <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, receipt for Spaghettios. Ooh, that's racist. This is a special leprechaun flute, which has been passed down from thousands of years ago from my great great grandfather, who was Irish. Fuck. Yes. Um, John Doe. Holy shit! I have the first one. <laughs> Perfect. Correct. Holy shit. I had so many other clues. I was like, this is going to be tough. What were the other ones? Apparently not, DJ. Yeah, I thought this was tough. Oh, apparently. I, I, 
I how thought, would I, I know, how would I know Matthew would remember? <laughs> that's, that's, I don't that's know. A, that's a, that's a pretty, I bet you everybody listening to this would be like, what? How did he know that? That's a pretty big Receipt thing. For the, that's a pretty big thing in the, the fucking movie. It's the first guy he fucking kills. Yeah, it is. Uh, John Doe from Seven. John Doe uh, had a receipt for SpaghettiOs. He also had a, a, the next clue was a library card. The next one was super glue and pills. The other one was the hand of a missing person, a composition notebook, a copy of Paradise Lost, a dildo with a knife attached, and a box with a woman's head. You should. You that's should. You should have. Oh, that's when I would have got led with the yeah, dildo knife. Okay. Yeah, dildo knife was like last one. <laughs> one of the last ones. <laughs> Was so Matthew's super, up to the way. That was I, that was amazing, Matthew. I, I'm was very super, proud of it. Super glue. Wow. Remember uh, Vanity? She she, she super glue. Oh yeah, he puts the pills in. Yeah. Fucks up her face yeah. and says, "You can call nine one one or you can take the pills." And she kills herself. But it wasn't Vanity. It was. It wasn't the fuck. It wasn't it was Vanity. vanity it was fucking it? Prince. That was Vanity. No, it was a. Uh, she vanity. cut. He cuts up her face. Well, Vanity's he, not a sin though. Or is it, uh, what the? What uh, is it? Uh, it's something not like lust. that. What fuck was it? Uh, pride. Pride. Sin, it was pride. No, 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 no. I think so. Let me look it up. Hold on. Look vanity. at the fucking sins, sure. you fuck. Vanity is a sin. Yeah, I'm out of religion. Sins. Vanity, vanity is not a sin. Seven deadly sins. Vanity. I'm looking right at it. The seventh sin. I, That's the seventh one. He, but he didn't put no. But vanity. he didn't put vanity <laughs> on the wall. He put he wrote something else on the wall. In Christian in Christian teachings, vanities is an example of pride. It must be pride. pride. Vanity pride, same thing. But no, yeah. it, but they put he put pride. On so he the cuts. Wall. I know he cuts up. He, I think he cuts off. Her, he cuts off he, her nose, the spider face. Yeah, and then he says, and then he like pills, or here's your phone. Super glues the thing. But here's the thing. How is <laughs> how is he how is she gonna dial the phone with the pills glued in her hand? I don't know. He I says don't know you either. can dial, you can dial the number that's call your save yourself or kill yourself. That movie's yeah, fucking weird. stupid. But yeah, she killed herself anyway. Yeah, what's in the fucking? <laughs> you hate seven? I, I don't know, hate I, seven. No, I do like seven. I'm just fucking. <laughs> what's wrong with you? I don't know. All right, You're Matthew's right. up two to one. What the fuck you? Want? With an amazing pull from John Doe from Spaghettios. I have to really remember that that, was... that detail. I'm not happy. Not happy. Yeah. That's okay. You get. You can catch up on this one, Joe. I don't think I can. I think no, it's you're going to come back. It's over. No, it's not. I don't want to talk about. it. <laughs> uh, here we go. Right, we already talked about this one earlier. Show some like that one. I'm trying to pick one that's uh, like a little. Okay, I pick hard one. Here we go. Hey, go hard again. Uh, an American Express card. Oh, I mean, should I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go for it. Yes, do it. Pull it. Pull it. I don't, I don't think I, I. I do it. It's the character, right? Yes. Damn. It's the character, yes. Um, An American Express card. No, it's not Batman. Oh, okay. <laughs> not Batman. Don't get. <laughs> Don't leave the key. I forgot that. that he also has American Express. Card. Not an American Express card is not Batman. I was like, man, you're really, you're really deep diving on that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never leave the I'm, cave without I'm, it. No, I might, no, no. I might guess it. Go ahead. You're not gonna guess, Justin. No, go for it. I want to know where to go. Like. I want to go. Patrick Bateman. No, no, incorrect. <laughs> yeah, that's not who I was thinking. Who are you no. thinking? Well, guess then. He thought he was thinking Batman. I know he was thinking fucking Batman. You get, let's get a second clue. I want a second clue. Okay, here we go. Second clue. <laughs> I, want, I want you two. to do one with one clue, Je Justin. Well, we're not as one. cool as you. Well, <laughs> maybe one day when I grow up. I yeah, can. well, you got a lot of training to go. Boy, I apparently you know. do. Yeah, Make, your, <laughs> an American Express card. Happy's lap. <laughs> I won't do that again. <laughs> you learned the last. Well, that was your uncle. <laughs> All right, American Express card, number to a parole officer. Number to a parole officer. I think this is one. This is the next clue is going to give it away. I believe. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. must do. Glasses with a. Skull and crossbones decoration on it. I'm a, I'm a... Glasses with a scroll. American Express card, member to our parole officer, glasses with a skull and crossbones decoration on it. Um, Give me the gold. I want the gold. Clarence from uh, True Romance. No, what? No. I don't fucking <laughs> <Great. know. laughs> I think he would have had a Poro officer like number. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't think he had glasses with a skull and crossbones on it. <laughs> he had he had sunglasses. 
Yeah, but they weren't glasses, but they skull and crossbow. I don't fucking know. I'm guessing. I don't fucking know who it is. (laughs) I I just want to hear the fucking noise again. (laughs) You just want to hear that. Those black people going, hey, leprechaun. Leprechaun here. (laughs) I want to go. All right, here we go. Uh, (laughs) An American Express card. Numbers and black people, you disappoint me. (laughs) (laughs) My entrails are out. Why would you even want to eat these? And then they're soaked with my stomach acid. Go ahead. Is it um wild thing? Yes, correct. (laughs) Rick, it is um, wild thing. Rick, Rick uh, Rick Vaughn. Vaughn. We we will accept wild thing. Yes, he was the wild thing. Rick Vaughn. Rick Vaughn. Right? Yeah, well, I think Rick Vaughn. Very good for Major League. God. Very good, Justin. He's tied it up. Well, well I, I just had an aneurysm, him, so I'm probably going to die in five minutes. <laughs> his, his brain exploded when <laughs> we figured that out. So it's good. Guys, I enjoyed this. <laughs> Great life. Thank it, was a good, it was a good run. <laughs> Final one. Ooh. Trying to pick which one. I have two more. Which one do I pick? Oh, yeah. You got to go hard. Harder. <sighs> pick the easy one. They're both kind of easy. Uh, uh, come on. Come up with one. Just come up with one off the top of your head. Then. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. A roll of cash. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. A roll of cash. A roll of cash. Who's got a roll of cash? <laughs> to me, it looked like a leprechaun to me. All you got to do is look up in the tree. Oh, the fuck off. <laughs> if you I'm get this, <laughs> you I'm get done. this right. I'm fucking I'm done. done. I'm done if you get this right. I'm done. <laughs> what is it? What is it, you son of a bitch? Prince Hakeem. No. <laughs> I thought it was gonna come to America. Yeah, it was coming to America. It's a good guess. It's a good guess. You had a roll of cash. You also had the roll of cash. It, you a lot of people have rolls account. of cash. I know, but he had a roll yeah, of cash. Yeah, very good. Yeah. He, had, he had two rolls of cash. He gave a the fucking roll of cash to his fucking bums. I'm going hard. This is a harder one the, of the of the easy ones. Uh, here we go. Justin, roll of cash. Justin didn't a, like me guessing that. No, I thought you were gonna get it. I thought you were gonna get it right away. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, a roll of cash in a pen. And a pen? Yep. Like a bic? Like, like a bic like, pen? Yeah, like a bic or a ballpoint or a uh, yeah, black pen, a ballpoint. blue pen. A ball, right. I would say a ballpoint. He's got a ballpoint really irre- pen. It's irrelevant of what kind of pen it is, but we'll just say ballpoint well, for you. It's a pen. A pen is a pen. There's different pens. Different people have different pens. You see, the pen uh, the might pen be under the sword, Henry. Surely, uh, my uh, under the sword. <laughs> Goose-stepping morons. Goose-stepping Reading morons. books instead of burning them. Burning them. <laughs> he came all the way back for the diary. Why? <laughs> what does the diary <laughs> tell you that we don't know? <laughs> Goose-stepping morons. <laughs> all right, roll of cash, a pen, and a leash to a chimpanzee. A leash to a chimpanzee? A leash? Leash. Yeah. Leash. Yeah. Chimpanzee. Uh, uh, <laughs> I feel like I feel like it's a Clint Eastwood anywhere anywhere. Yeah, that's loose. a orangutan, you son of a oh, bitch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> chimpanzee. Get, a, get your monkeys right. A, <laughs> get your monkeys right. Get your monkeys in a row. <laughs> get your ducks in a row, you bitch. I, I'm just gonna go out on a limb. Oh Jesus Christ, Lord Savior and, and Spirit, save me, take me to the light. Go go on that limb. Yeah. Okay. Crocodile Dundee, yep. since we talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> no. When did he have a, when did he have a fucking water? I'm Don't glad you're getting all these wrong because I get to this. I, every time you guys get to get these wrong, I get to hear that fucking leprechaun scream for his life. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! It hurts! Dustin yeah. checks in. Dunstan checks it. But Dunstan is, is the, the monkey. monkey. Dunstan is the monkey. <laughs> he's a lease to himself. <laughs> he's, he's into that. He's into I that don't shit. remember he, their fucking he's into characters. That, he's into Dustin, that weird Dustin shit. Dustin checks in. I don't remember. Wait, wait, first off, have you ever seen Dunstan checks in? Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I have seen that movie. Who was it? Faye Dunaway was in Jason there? Alexander and Faye Dunaway. Jason Alexander, Faye Dunaway, and Pee Wee Herman. You know too much about that movie. Thank you. I just don't know the character name. A roll of cash. A roll of cash, Andy Sedaris. a pen, <laughs> a leash to a chimpanzee, keys to a Lamborghini. Lamborghini? Oh, I was going to say fucking uh, Crockett, <laughs> but he had an alligator. He didn't have a monkey. He had a Ferrari and that was an alligator. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. There's a difference things. between and he had a he had the alligator on the boat. difference, you batch. <laughs> Sorry, you get batch. my... I get my <laughs> you batch. You fucking batch. <laughs> a Lamborghini? Roll the cash. It's 
I'm glad I picked this one because this is more more difficult than I thought. Who else in the level crowd say yeah? Yeah! yeah? Who is it? Lloyd Christmas? <laughs> no, incorrect. Oh. Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> He had, a, he had a lamp. Well, no, he didn't. Oh, have a lamp. He, I will, oh. okay, here's a little, here's a little clue. I will never pick anybody too. from Dumb and Dumber. Oh. Well, <laughs> I hate that. I movie. thought he had a monkey too. You don't like Dumber and Dumber? I always told you I hated Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber is hilarious. I fucking hate that movie. Why? It, I told you I don't like Zany. I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> Pets heads are falling off. I, I like clever. That's not that a was clever. clever. That was hilarious. It was There's a scene where Jeff Daniels shits in a toilet for 15 minutes. I know. It's like a, it's like a fucking a biopic for me. No, I'm good. You guys enjoy. It's more for you. More, more, more dumb and dumber for you. All right, give us an, give us the last clue. I'm sure you got. I got five, five more clues. I don't fucking well, know. I mean, I, I'm at a this loss. Right give it Can a I look. get the this movie? Is, Can I get some movie instead? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Get away from me. Get away from me. This is for the strawberry snibbles. No. I, I know, the bandit. Oh, he. No. I keep thinking Burt Reynolds. The bandit? No. <laughs> bandit. Uh, no, no. I want to say Cannibal Run. No, not the bandit. I want to say Cannibal Run. No, no. His Gator. name is the bandit. No, it's not him. It's no. Gator. <laughs> no, not Burt Reynolds. No. <laughs> no, Burt Reynolds? Are you sure? <laughs> no. <laughs> this character is You're still wrong. alive. <laughs> You're the I'm one a who's thousand wrong. Percent accurate. You're wrong, DJ. <laughs> you are. Cannibal I'm looking run at two. the answer. Cannibal Run 2. <laughs> No, Cannibal Run, not Cannibal. This cannibal was Run alive when Cannibal Run Two came out. A roll of cash, a pen, keys to a Lamborghini, a leash to a chimpanzee, and penny stock paperwork. Oh my God! I see demons! I see demons are coming! Jordan Belfort. Yes. Thank you. Correct. <laughs> Thank you. This is over. so I knew you knew it because you said his name earlier. I did. Isn't that how? Yeah. That's, that's it all comes Jamie. back around. It was foreshadowing. I mean, you were meant oh, to lose. Yeah. God. Congratulations, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> the next clue is Quaaludes. If you got it wrong on that, yeah, no, I'm no, like, no, 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 I forgot. Steve I Madden heard. gift card was another one. <laughs> yeah, that one oh. really, that one really did it for me on that one. Lamborghini. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Good okay. job. All accurate, motherfucker. Yeah, those are all good. All accurate. Yeah, those are good. Uh, American Express card. Yeah. I think, uh, Justin won the game, but Matthew might get like a bonus because he got John Doe on one. Oh, <laughs> go for you. This has been get your hand out of my pocket. a game that is at least worthy of a charge of felony theft. That's I thought you, Cannibal Run. I thought you were saying <laughs> the no. Lamborghini. But was that Dom, was that Dom Louise? Yeah, Dom Deloise. Oh. Was that a uh, rack? Oh, it rack. was a chimpanzee and cannibal run. Chimpan- yes, they were in the ambulance. Yeah. Yes, but there was no uh, no Lamborghini. Rece- no, sorry, there was no uh, what we call it. Roll of cash. Or well, there might have been a, a roll of pen. cash. You could see it, man. So he had a roll of cash. Didn't Dan, yeah, did Dean Martin have a roll of cash on him? No, no, he was a priest or something. Yeah, I think he had a roll <laughs> of cash. Or something. Yeah, that, that, cash that was the weird part. That was the weird part. Why do we know so much about fucking cannibal? Don't you ever. Talk bad about Cannibal Run. I love, bitch. I love Cannibal Run. Fuck off. <sighs> dun dun dun. I love Cannibal Run. I love, oh, you could have picked it. Oh, I like Rat what, what, Race. Hey, better. what's uh, Dom DeLuise's character's name? The Great What? What is his name? <laughs> <laughs> Dom <laughs> DeLuise. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's uh, Dom DeLuise plays Dom DeLuise. Captain, Captain. You talk about Captain. Captain what? Uh, Ca- Captain, Captain Chaos. Chaos. Is it Captain Chaos? Captain Chaos. Oh, I got. I fucking love that. Yo. Jackie Chan's in Cannibal Run. What the fuck is he? Fuck. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Telly Savalas. Telly Savalas. Like Frank Sinatra's everybody. in there. Uh, that, Sherry that McLean is in it. Oh, man. Such a good uh, Sid Caesar. Yeah, Terry Bradshaw's in that fucking Tom movie. Tom Conway. Tony Danza's in that movie. Tony yeah. fucking Danza's in there. Yeah, he is. Um, Those two yeah. girls with the Lamborghini. Jaws in is in that movie. Jaws is uh, definitely Richard in it. Don Knox. Richard Keel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah that movie had everybody in it. Fuck. Um, Both, which one? Both of them are fucking action packed. I got Frank. Movie? Frank's what, in it. What, what's the other movie? Uh, it's a mad, the best mad, part mad, of Cannonball Run mad, One. Abe Vigoda's in it. The best part Abe. of Cannonball Run One and Two is when they, uh, the teams join forces and fight off people. Roger Moore also in it. Uh, uh, when they join forces and they fight off those other people, it's like Avengers. It's like it is the ultimate Avengers moment because like you got Jackie Chan doing kicks, Burt Reynolds knocking people out, Captain Chaos taking out people, Dean Martin taking out people, Roger Moore shooting people. It's, it's fucking awesome. It's awesome. Watch Cannonball Run. <laughs> it's great. It's amazing. What do you say is Cannonball Run uh, on par with it's a mad, 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 mad world? Better. Uh, well, mad, 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 mad world does not have Burt Reynolds and Dom DeLuise. Dom DeLuise or Sammy Davis. Yeah. Or Sammy Davis, or Dean Martin, or 
Dean Martin, or Telly Savalas, or Shane McLean, or I'm just going to read them all again. Said Caesar, Jackie Chan. Uh, In case you missed it the first time, Tony Danza, in the movie. Tim Tony Conway, Danza, Terry Bradshaw, and a Richard Keel, Don Knotts. No, it's a Mad World had Peter Peter Falk and it had fucking Columbo yeah, in fuck it. Fuck Peter Falk. Oh no, that's what? Justin's Columbo, boy. bitch. <laughs> Some, that's Justin's boy. I'm oh. not a fan. I grew up on Cannibal Run. What? It's a mad. Something. It's a Mad 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 World had fucking Don Knotts in it too. Oh, that fish. I'm not a wee. Had fucking Carl <laughs> Reiner in it. Fucking Carl Reiner. Had fucking Morty Amsterdam. Who? Uh, <laughs> no. All right, Matthew. <laughs> Tell everybody our information. Morty <laughs> Amsterdam here. <laughs> I'm Bella Witch. So you should go to the simplisticreviews.net website. Simplistic. That, that fat Jews. fuck ate himself to death. He ate the Oni. That's what he did. He did eat the Oni. Fucking fat so. <laughs> Name of a movie, folks. Calm down. Yeah, sorry, everybody. Fat so was fat with so. Don DeLuise, where Don DeLuise played fat so. Fat so. And he ate the Oni. Copy and, his mom, back. Oh, and his mom's like, You ate the Oni. You ain't the only. His name is Tony. Which is a good <laughs> That's, That's actually a really funny fucking line, to be honest it's with you. It's a very good one. About it. <laughs> it's a he, very good he, one. he kept the T88 the only. It's a movie where he had to decide between love and food. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, it's, I mean, he uh, picked food. He, yeah. He kept picking food. I, mean, I don't know. You can still eat. The other thing, can you? He was he was eating food instead of banging his wife. It was a great. Film. Uh, give everybody information. He man. just didn't eat it right. He ate the oni. He didn't eat the poontang pie. Mm. <laughs> Speaking mm. of, we were talking about the Rock earlier. So poontang pie. I can't believe the Rock is his own TV show now. I know. What a fucking lucky guy. Let's Why not. Can't you not believe it? He's the highest paid. Actor I don't. Want, I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk about the Rock. <laughs> I want to talk. <laughs> I want to talk more about the simplistic reviews website like simplistic dot reviews we're mm-hmm. way better than the rocks website this rock <laughs> what's the rock app dot com what a fuck yeah, what a dot fuck what a loser yeah what a wiener so simplistic dot reviews it's there it's happening we got everything on that we got website. podcasts it's new and improved new and improved ready to go ready to go ready for ready for you to go to the site to see all the stuff you've ever wanted to see and more and more. Yeah, fuck the rock. <laughs> well, for uh, <laughs> ro- for Rocky Maya, Roger via. Moore, and my Rocky Maya via and uh, Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin and, and Shirley McLean, Sammy Davis Jr. Who else in that movie? Milton Justin? Burrow, Shirley Don McLean. Don uh, I'm Deloise. I'm Deloise. Uh, you want to hear my impression of Don Deloise? Yeah. What's yeah? What's your Go He's breathing heavy, well, folks. Sp- you can't. Hey, you, you're words. all right, Dom. You okay, <gasps> Dom? You all right? You all right? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm Ann Bancroft saying, "You ain't the only." <laughs> what was that other movie Dom DeLuise was in that he had like a little piece? It was like a spoof. Had problems. <laughs> he was like a. It was like a spoof. Yeah, he's he's movie. Pizza the Hut. I know he's in Spaceballs and Pizza the Hut. I know that's him. <laughs> He ate himself to death in that he one, ate too. Himself to death, yeah, he ate himself to death. <laughs> Pizza's going to call out for you. Pizza's going to call out for you. Boss, you're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that uh, his henchman is eating him. Yeah, and the whole thing goes, Boss, you're delicious. He's eating him. I know, it's I know, I was like, uh... <laughs> And that wasn't special effects. That's what Dom DeLuise looked like. Yeah, Dom time. DeLuise was actually yeah. like a melting pizza. Giant pizza. <laughs> This has been a St. Patrick's Day edition of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. The proverbial creepy leprechaun guarding the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. While you prepare to imbibe on your drink of choice this drunkard's holiday, remember, never drink alcohol without taking prescription medication along with it. Stay away from water or coffee. Sleep with the first person who you think looks good and pays you any attention, and if you have to vomit, do it in a friend's lap. Or car. Or face, if you can aim it right. This podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network. Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com. You know, I think my notes got mixed up. Forget everything I just said. Except for the vomiting thing. That's just plain funny. Tick Tock Simplistic Reviews Podcast, Tick Bloody Tark. What I do to you this month isn't punishment. 
No, not at all. It's justice. 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 Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha.